Hi, m i n a s a n Come on, hi everyone. Welcome to a new game, Paranormal Sight: The Seventh Mysteries of Honjo. What a long title, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for waiting. Thank you so much for joining, Daniel. Initial air. Come on, come on. So I stumbled upon this game on Steam, and it looks interesting. Not gonna lie, and. You know, I was like, ah, should I play it? Then I searched for the like how long to beat. It took like, uh, to summarize right. It seems like it took like uh, it's gonna take like 12 hours plus to finish the game. So I was like, ah, uh, it's not that long and it's not that short either. So maybe we can check it out. Not gonna lie, the music on the main screen is kind of is kind of banger, yeah. <laughs> What is that? Please don't spam! Ah! <laughs> oh shit, that was weird, yeah. So... Uh... I was gonna say, like... Uh, actually, it's not that... Cheap, the game, yeah. It's not that cheap. But it is what it is, yeah. Hopefully it's good, yeah. The only downside seems like... They don't have... Um, VR, yeah. I have to read the game. The whole game, yeah. It's alright, guys. So let's go. Yeah, game by Square Enix. I have high, I have high hope uh, for this. Yeah. Oh, you are here. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Uh, hopefully the uh, volume is fine. Let me turn it up a bit. Maybe around here. All right. I have been eagerly awaiting your arrival. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the storyteller. All right. I see. Okay. Is the narrator? Is that is that a word? A narrator, yeah. Narrator. Reading and promoting, so joining Werewolf as well. Please to make your acquaintance. Uh, I shall be your guide going forward. Right, let me make myself a bit smaller. Just, uh, just in case I... I cover the words, yeah. Horror game? I don't think it's a horror game, yeah. I read the comment, right, from Steam. They'd be like, ah, uh, you know, they have high hope on the scares. It seems like it's not that scary. That's why I play it, guys. Yeah, they'd be like, ah, it was creepy but not scary. So they'd be like, if you love scary game, this is not for you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't like scary games. <laughs> so this is for me, yeah. I I love mystery, yeah. So this is more like a mystery game. Like you are the detective, I think, yeah. Now then, before guys, I love detective game, alright. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go, yeah. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully the the story is good, yeah. But then before we begin our story, there are several things I must bring you to your attention. First, this game is auto save, okay? Uh, narrator, alright. Uh, the game will automatically save at uh, regular intervals, so you may stop playing at any time. Really? Like now? Saving is a very important element of games. <laughs> It is uh, the only way to keep your memories in place. If you do not wish to rely on auto save alone, you can also save manually via the menu. Uh, next, please look at uh, the upper right of the screen. There's a menu button. Yeah, here you go. From here, you can check the text lock, uh, view useful files, and save. See how switch auto mode. On and off, okay. You can also adjust the brightness, it's the option, yeah, alright, we know that. For instance, if there is a voice you would prefer not to hear. What? What the fuck do you mean by that? <laughs> you can mute it by setting the voice volume to zero. <laughs> What voice? My inner voice? I suggest you check the brightness, control, and other settings now before going on. Huh? What the hell? <laughs> Wood and Komodo, thanks for joining. Welcome. What do you mean, like voices and brightness? What the fuck? <laughs> Are they gonna like ghost jump scare me? Seven mystery curses. Oh yeah, it seems like there's curse, and it seems like there's like a uh, different ending as well. Yeah. So okay. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the, where's the button? Yeah. Huh? Alright, fine. I'm using keyboard, by the way. Yeah. 
I will explain the other essential function when the time is right. Ah, uh, there is one more thing I wish to confirm before we continue. Uh, I would feel strange to go on without knowing your name. Let me make myself smaller again. <laughs> I feel like I covered some words here and there, so... Please tell me what I may call you. Who the fuck are you? Alright, Jin. Is he gonna curse me? Ah, uh, Jin, is it? Yes. I see, very good. It, I seem to have gotten it right this time. What? Gotten what? Or, or, okay. <laughs> He's sus. Now that we have uh, been properly introduced, let's, uh, let us begin our story. Presented by Jin, what? Ahem. <laughs> From antiquity to present day, present day, regardless of how society and civilization evolve, this has been a constant presence that none have ever escaped. This? Then you might like Higurashi and Umi Neko. Higurashi is more like a psychopath woman going around killing <laughs> and curses, right? Yeah. Hopefully. This uh don't have like crazy woman. <laughs> uh? Whether it is one's own or that of someone close, that is always difficult thing to accept. I I want mystery, guys. Yeah, come on, give me mystery. Yeah. This is an immutable reality, reality, a value shared by all, no matter the age in which they live. Ooh, nice art. There's so much more. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it is uh, alright, yeah? <laughs> I don't want too many layers, yeah, my brain's gonna burst. In fact, oral traditions reflecting people's fear and prayers regarding death still remains. Ghosts, spirit, and so on. Similarly, in attempt to defy death, many curses, rituals, and custom- Oh shit! Really? It's just gonna be curse? Really? Curses, rituals, and customs have been born. From burning spirit incense to summoning a souls of the dead. Damn. Some of those secret arts are still being passed down to these days. Are supernatural? Oh, on that note, Jin. This may be seem rather abrupt, but Is there Is there someone you wish to bring back from the dead? No. Bring back from the dead, yeah. Ah, uh, you guys can't see. How do I make myself so smaller? <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna read, guys. I'm sorry if you can't see, yeah? Hopefully you guys catch us the dialogue. What if? What if you had one chance to use the secret art of resurrecting the dead? I don't think I would... Yeah, I don't think I would bring back any dead people just saying, yeah? I would rather them, like, rest in peace. Like myself, yeah? <laughs> If me, I would rather like rest in peace and not ever come back, yeah. Yes, if you had the power to bring someone back to life one time and one time only. Ghost trick? <gasps> Maybe, guys, yeah. What would you do, Jin? Uh, I'd use it even if I, if I had to sacrifice myself. Nah, no, no, yeah. I wouldn't want it to let someone else have it. Yeah, I don't want it, yeah. Uh, like for real. Why would I? <laughs> Why would I? Nah, nah. I wouldn't want it. Yeah, I want them to rest in peace. Yeah. I see. Very interesting. What the fuck do you mean? Yes, yes. That's uh, that's what I thought you would say. <laughs> He's lying. He's lying, guys. Yeah. Hmm. What seems to be the matter? Ah, uh, you want to know what this box has been sitting here is. It's a TV, no? Wait, people nowadays don't know this is TV, guys. It's quite a curious thing, isn't it? It is so-called color television. The world I will be sending you is full of decision, you know, devices such as these that do not exist in the age you are from. Persona 4, yeah! It's Persona 4, true! In this era, a color Television can be found in nearly every household. Yeah, it's a television. <laughs> is that rare? Th that is not all, for example. If a person should wish to contact someone while they are out of their home, they use public telephones like this. 
that can be found all over the city. Wait, now these people don't know about that. <laughs> oh fuck! Can you imagine what life would be like in such a time? We're still living normally, yeah. I'd be thrilled to have you continue this story, Jin. After all, this is why you came here, no? So let us begin. I've kept you waiting long enough. True. I present you Paranormal Sight, a bizarre tale surrounding the curse known as the Rite of Resurrection. So, like people resurrecting here and there in this curse? Curse, yeah. A peculiar yearn. Asnaring as nine men and a. W Wait, what? What the hell do you. <laughs> How the fuck do you read that? A peculiar yearn. And snaring nine men and nine men and women in a fierce fight for their lives as it unravels. Nine people, is that it? Alright. Some of the characters appearing within surely share your views on the right of resurrection. I imagine those who have lost someone dear to them will feel per particularly strongly about it, clinging to it. As their last desperate hope. The first I shall introduce a man named Shogo Okie. He's one of them. I think he's uh, he's the protagonist. Yeah. All right. Sex mill <laughs> office worker. Wait, I thought he's gonna be detective. No. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna scan through it. Yeah. Oh my God. Tokyo. All right. Sure. He plays folk guitar as a hobby and currently looking for a girlfriend. I see. Alright. Sure. Ah, breaking news. What? Oh, I wonder what it could be at such a time. Early this morning, the body of a drawn, drawn man, drawn, drawn. Oh my god, yeah. He died. Was discovered at a park in Sumida City. Huh? Wait! We die. No, <laughs> we did. We haven't even wait. What? We haven't even uh played the game yet. Police have identified the body as Shogo Ikie, Okie, a 25 years old man who worked at a company in the area. As a sign of a struggle was were found, the Sumida police suspect foul play and have launched an investigation. Oh, excuse me. Please pay no mind. To what you have just seen. He just died. What the fuck do you mean? Goodness. You very nearly saw something that you would have spoiled the story. Wait, what is spoil? Wait, you can't say you can't tell me that. <laughs> Boy. So the main guy died? Is that it? He died? Just pretend you did not see that. <laughs> Let us turn back the time. Uh back to Smitch and start again from there. What the fuck? Do you, do you understand? You saw nothing. Now we know, guys. Yeah. You know nothing. So, we, uh, I mean, the protagonist is gonna die. Is that it? This story is a work of fiction. All location, characters, organization, legends, everything is, uh, is fake. Okay. Like disclaimer, yeah. Narrator is sus. Yeah. Are, are we, is he a devil? Yeah. Maybe he take our soul. Yeah. Shogo? Shogo, are you alright? Who the fuck? Oh, it's the girl from the Toaster, yeah. Yoko. Hey, can you hear me? Alright, it seems like there's. N oh my god, it's so loud, yeah. It seems like there's not much, like, uh, music going on, so I'm just gonna tune up. Tune up back the game volume, yeah, because the main menu was so loud before. Huh? Hey, that's not a proper answer. Earth to Shogo Okie. What do you think you are doing, falling asleep here? You gave me quite a shock. Come on now. Up with, uh, up with you, up. Okay. Okay, and what? There. How's that? Alright. Okay. No music, really? Damn, this is so bad, yeah. <laughs> this is so... <laughs> not bad, but you know, like, too bad, but like, yeah. Uh, with music, right, the atmosphere is gonna be different, yeah. Do you feel dizzy? Have a headache? Are you are your humors off balance? I'm fine, I think. 
There's definitely nothing wrong with my humor. Thought my hair still a little fuzzy. Okay. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, turn your head around a bit to see if you can walk all right. Wait, I can walk? Drag the ski screen. Drag the screen or move right stick to look around. Take a. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is fucking. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> Jin, you scary. I got scared. <laughs> good, good. You seem to be fine. What a relief. <laughs> ah, do you remember anything? Like where we are? No, thank you. Or oh, what we are doing? The right of resurrection. Um, I have no idea. Yeah. Oh no, you look so confused. You're messing with me, right? Stop it, you're scaring me. Alright, let's just calm down. Take a look around with you, okay? Okay, take a look around. Look around and select things you want to investigate. You can converse with people by selecting their faces. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, I do not like the 360. What the hell? Oh my god. Hmm, where are we? Oh right, this is Sumida City, Tokyo. We are at Kinshibori Park, near Kinshicho Station. Yoko brought me here saying she needed my help with something important. It's just past midnight. They explained why there's nobody else around. <coughs> okay. Sada Zoom is kind of scary. Yeah, what the hell? I think it's like a... Like a spooky scare instead of like jump scare, you know what I mean guys, yeah. Like they don't, they just scream at you, yeah, but... It's just... They just, you know, in your face, yeah. <laughs> this is uh, Yuko Fukunaga. Good, at least I can remember that much. I first met her about two, uh, a month ago, alright. She's 23. 23?! She looks like 16, what the hell, guys? <laughs> she looks like a high schooler. 23? Huh? Works as a housekeeper. And is really into the occult. Occult? Occult. Supernatural. Occult. Occult, sorry, guys. Yeah. Supernatural stuff, I see. She like that? Damn. True, right? Yeah, she looks like a high schooler. What the hell? If I think harder. I can probably recall a little more about what's going on. We have only met a few times, but we have really hit it off. Hit what off, guys? She's a lot of fun to be around. Oh, he's into her, I see. Because uh, he's like 25, yeah, and she's 23. So he got some spark with her, I see. I have no idea how she feels though. Ah! I get the sense she isn't thinking about me that way right now. Oh shit, friend don't. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, he's into her. Good luck, yeah. But I know. I have got the things for bubbly girls who are into dark things like the occult. He's into those kind of girls. I, I say good luck, man, yeah. <laughs> Sash. He likes girls that like supernatural. Bubbly girl that likes supernatural, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yoko Fukunaga. Fukunaga, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. Oh, we done, yeah. Achigo! Alright. Alright, uh, talk. Yikes, that was close. If we did die before we got our hands on the right of resurrection, everything would be over before it started. We gonna do the thing, really? The right of resurrection now? Recall. Let me think, what can I remember? Okay, her name is Yoko Fukunaga. We met about a month ago. What's the deal with this park? <coughs> oh, we got music, nice. It was around noon on one of my days off. 
I had just finished running some errands in Kinshicho and was here taking a quick break. I was just looking around absent mindedly. Uh huh. <gasps> oh! When I. Oh, I, I have to drag. When I noticed this girl lo loitering about. What? Lo loitering about? <laughs> she was digging up holes in the sandbox and searching uh, around the playground. Alright, it's kinda loud. So let me turn it down. Yeah. The music is really loud. Yeah, actually. Option. Audio. Music volume. Maybe around 8, 7. 7, yeah. Alright, apply. <coughs> the Godric Mordings for joining. Welcome. She seemed to be enjoying herself talking to the animal figures and patting them on their heads. <laughs> My curiosity got the better of me before long and I struck up a conversation. Ah! Hit on her? Not hit on her, more like, Hey girl, are you looking for something? <laughs> ah, hmm? Ah, oh, sorry. I must look like a total weirdo. Um, yeah, I guess you could say I'm looking for something. If you want, I could give you a hand. Really? I mean, that'd be a huge help, but... But? Are you really just a good... Summer return? Summer return? Or are you after, you know, something else? Huh? Uh, I'm a good summer return. What the hell is that? Sure. Oh wow, my hero. People like you really do exist. I think I might cry. <laughs> okay, I guess I will let you help me, but uh, be warned. You might regret what you have gotten yourself into. No worries. Uh, what are you looking for anyway? Do you lose a bracelet or something? A charitable or helpful person. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, summer return. <laughs> I see. I think they direct translate the word or something. Yeah. Thank you, Wooden. Not exactly. I'm searching for one of the seven mysteries. Supposedly, this is the location of the Whispering Kennel. Are you guys gonna... Are you guys the uh, same as this guy? Yeah. When the girl be like, Oh, I'm looking something cursed. Yeah. Will you be like, Oh, cool. This girl is so cute. <laughs> oh, you're looking for uh, a cursed stuff? <laughs> Let, let's go. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. Oh shit, I'm gonna get cursed too. Nah, 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 it's fine, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna look for that, yeah. The what? Now I've done it. I bet you think I'm some kind of lunatic. The seven mysteries of Honjo. Do you know anything about it? <laughs> <laughs> what? Harikakomo, thanks for joining. Welcome. Crystal Pork, so let's go. Let's get married and find supernatural stuff. I figure everyone around here would have at least heard of it, but I guess not. What? Honjo is what the southern part of Sumida is called. A long time ago, this part of Tokyo was split into two separate cities. The north part was Muku Mukojima, and south part was Honjo. Huh. Uh, am I boring you? <laughs> am I boring you? Oh uh, no. I think, yeah. It's not like I have a chance to get something. Oh, uh, Karika! I think you should watch a movie about that, yeah. <laughs> no. Ah, well, <laughs> oh shit. Uh, I, I'm not good with ghosts, guys, yeah. I'm not a locker or something. Uh, I just work around here. Yeah, show sure, sure go, yeah. Actually, I like the art style, yeah. Oh, then, then no wonder you didn't know. Well, the Seven Mysteries of Honjo is a legend dating all the way back to the Edo period. Dating, alright. Oh, like the date? Really? Is that old? That's like over 200 years ago. Oh, I've got your attention after all. I just assume it was one of those fake stories made up chase the occult craze. Huh, I don't blame you. A lot of popular stories going around are pretty fishy. Alright, turn down, yeah. Oh my god, the music is still loud. What the hell? Um, 
But the seven mysteries of Honjo are different because they are all true. They are true. That's what I said. They are all real deal. So hold on, what does that mean? Are you telling me there's actually a paranormal stuff at work in this park? Yep, pretty much. But there's gonna be more to it. After all I've done, I still haven't found a thing. It was the first time I met Yoko Fukunaga. Alright. We exchanged contact information and we have talked on phone a few times since. We have even met in person once or twice. But she never brought up the seven mysteries of Honjo again. I figured she did gotten bored of it. And now we are here, huh? Until today, when all of a sudden she decided to resume her search. Huh, wait a second, where did Yoko go? Ah! <coughs> According to Yoko. Oh, she's there, yeah. The Whispering Canal, one of the seven mysteries of Honjo, is around here somewhere. It's apparently the story that the expression left at the canal originally comes from. I think I left myself a note about it. I should check my files. My files? Oh my god, I'm gonna read this, really? Oh. The most famous seven mysteries. Whispering Kennel Fool's Possession Seven, yeah Alright Kinshibori Many fishermen once gathered on this section of the canal that run through Honjo Oh, fishermen? Leave it behind, leave it, uh, the canal will whisper, leave it behind. Those who ignore the voice found themselves unable to move. And their previously full basket of fish emptied. <laughs> the ghost steal their fish? Really? <laughs> uh, and then they would then be dragged into the canal. What the hell? <laughs> so they steal the fish and the human? What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Alright, that's the mystery, right? I mean, the. Uh, <clears throat> Seven mystery, yeah, of Honjo. Alright, the park, okay. Alright, I'm just gonna skim through some of the story, that's all, yeah. Uh, right, she's there. There she is! She's back to digging up holes in the sandbox and searching around the playground. Huh? She seems to be enjoying herself, talking to the animal animal figures and petting them on the hairs. I'm sorry, but she's crazy. <laughs> is this what the anime is? Like, you know, the Higurashi. Yeah, what the hell? No animal needs that much petting. I think she's uh, she's crazy, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna slide. I swear to god if something's going on, yeah, I'm so Alright, here we go. Telephone booths are all over the town. The lights are always on, so they can be used in an emergency. Nice. Maybe we can use that, yeah. In the future. She's she's still at it. Okay. That's right. She asked me to come here to help her look for one of the seven mysteries. Actually, I think I did some research into the seven mysteries of Honjo. I can't remember it all too well. I should check my files. What the hell? Everything? Really? Oh, okay, now they have everything, yeah. Safuari Gesui Gesui? <laughs> Alright Enduring Superstition There was once an infamous rock by the name Tomezo Who fell for a woman named Okoma Ooh, okay Tomezo persistently chased after Okoma 
attempting to win her heart over and over again, but she rejected his advance each time. Enraged by her indifference to him, Tomezo brought a dagger to a canal. Oh, it's the canal near Ryoku, Ryogoku Bridge and attacked Okoma. What the fuck? He cut an uh he cut the arm and leg off one side of a body and then threw them into the canal. Ever since then, the roots growing along that canal have only sprouted leaf on one side. So I think it's this one, yeah, the canal. Man can't take no for answer. Kill the woman. What the hell? Foul smelling a wind. Giant foot. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Giant foot. <laughs> Alright, okay, that's the thing. Why so creepy is creepier than Famicom? Yeah, Famicom is not creepy, yeah. It's more like detective. Funny. Uh, this one is more creepy detective, yeah. <laughs> it can't be helped, guys, yeah. I just, uh, I, I have no idea, you know, like, I want to play a detective game. But this one is creepy, yeah. Yasuda Garden, alright. Uh. No one had ever seen a single leaf fall from the tree. What the hell? Alright. This one is for, for a tree. I'm just gonna skim through it, yeah. Mm. Alright, I think the candle, right? It's gonna be this one. The one sided the reed, maybe. Just in case she asked me that, yeah. Oh, wait, she's coming back this way. Okay. Hey, what was that just now? Huh? Didn't you hear that? Huh? Did I didn't hear anything. You're hearing things. Uh, no, I didn't hear anything. Are you sure you didn't just imagine it? Um, maybe I did. Huh? But your special talent, you should have been able to hear it. Pay closer attention for me, okay? My special talent? What are you talking about? Huh? I mean, your spirit sense. You look like you can handle your liquor. Huh? You ha I have no idea what drinking has to do with it, but I don't think so. Hmm, well, you you must. I mean, you can see me, right? Wait, she's a ghost? Huh? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Maybe she's the ghost, yeah. <laughs> what am? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait! You're kidding, right? About what? I mean, just now. It's kind of sound like oh yeah. It's kind of sounded like you were saying that only people with spirit sense can see you. Of course, oh. Of course, there was a joke, duh. You don't really think I'm some kind of evil spirit, do you? But yeah. What the hell? There's someone behind me, guys. Do you see that? Huh? Oh. Do you see that, guys? What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, there's someone there. No way, dude. I meant what I said about your spirit sense being strong. I bet you could down a whole gimlet in one group, seriously. How strong do you know? No, how strong do you please? <laughs> oh shit! What if we look back, guys, and the the shadow is there? Oh, that is gonna be so creepy. That's the real reason I asked you to help me with these seven mysteries of Honjo business. Okay, let me just clarify clarify something. Yeah, are you saying that you can actually see paranormal stuff? Sure, I could handle a solid Moscow. Mole. Why you? Why are you measuring this in terms of cocktails? So is she a ghost or not? I don't think so. Yeah, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not a believer, huh? Well, that's no matter. But you have to. S <laughs> what is she about? Yeah. Oh, what? 
But you have to have seen some weird stuff over t the years, right? Weird stuff? Yeah, like things you could see but could never understand. You can't be serious. She's not, yeah. Guys, guys, guys. We're gonna see? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna scroll and you guys see for me. Yeah? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what? What do you mean, left? 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 Huh? Between building? Is that a shadow there? This one? Left? Yeah, shadow? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so scared! <laughs> it's gonna late. It's 1am! What the hell? There's a chill in the air, but I guess that's normal for this time of the year. Alright. Woo! Nah. Playground? Alright. Alright, Yoko. I don't know how she's so comfortable talking about spirits and paranormal stuff at this time of night. Yeah, it's it's visual novel. How is it so scary, guys? It's like 3D. What the hell? Either she got guts or she just used to it. Unless, no, it can't be. A paranoid. Ah, let's talk to her. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Spirit sense. All right, I'm just gonna go skim through. Yeah. I have seen ghost photo in magazine before, but are you telling me they really exist? It's Photoshop. Yeah. You bet they do. <laughs> but you can only recognize them. If you really believe in them, so be careful. So even with my skill, I won't be able to see them if I doubt they exist. That's right. Oh, is my choices matter? Yeah, the spirit world is all about the mind and the soul. You won't be able to see a thing unless you're properly in tune. But sometimes people get caught up in the moment thinking they might see something. And then they really do because they believe they would. Is that how that works? Yep, just like drinking. You will never know how much booze you can handle unless you are ready to down some shots. I'm still not sure I get a drinking thing, yeah. Uh -huh, you know, I realized how strange it was as the world left my mouth. Shush. <coughs> Mie Ruko-chan. Oh yeah, Mie Ruko, yeah. If you believe, you see her, right? Damn, Mie yeah. About alcohol. Still unrelated, but do you actually drink real alcohol? Alcohol, I mean. Whoa, talk about weed slash. I didn't expect you start making small talk. Well, our conversation was getting a bit dark. I figure a change of topic might lighten uh, things up. How is this game? Is this year, I think, yeah, it's from Steam. But I'm not sure. It was a. Uh, it was a Switch game, guys, yeah. It was a Switch game, so I'm surprised it, it was on Steam, yeah. Not sure if it's like old game on S Switch, then they port it to Steam, yeah, so I'm not too sure, yeah. Oh, I see. If you really want to know, I like to think I can handle a few drinks. But to tell you the truth, I have never actually had a Moscow mole. Oh, really? No. Heh, <laughs> I just thought it sounded cool. I would like to try it, though. Now to the new game. Let's go, guys. Yeah, hopefully it's good. Yeah, you know my expectation, guys. Come on, yeah. Why don't we go for a drink sometime? Then? Oh, he's ask he's asking her out. Why don't we go for a drink sometimes? Oh, you're asking me out? No, you're just being good. You're just being a good summer return, right? <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Huh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I did up for that. Oh, good for you, man. But only if we find one of the seven mysteries. Alright then, let's get to work. In exchange for asking a girl out, she's like, Yeah, you can ask me out, but we have to find one of the curse, yeah. <laughs> eh? <laughs> okay, let's go. We're gonna find one curse, then we're gonna go out, guys. 
It's not worth it. No, let me out. <laughs> Let's get to work. I've gotten most of my memory memory back, but I still feel a bit out of it. Okay. Chill, chill, chill. Let's talk more, yeah. <coughs> Spirit sense. Wait, they don't have the thing, yeah. And if you can believe that, that there might be hope for you. Yet you can't. You can't be serious. So I have to believe there's ghosts. At least we get a girl, right? Is that worth it, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Getting cursed. <laughs> I just remember I actually did some research on the seven mysteries of Honjo at the library. You did? What did you find? Well, I discovered a few interesting things. Oh, uh -huh, tell me everything. Seven mysteries? That's what they call the seven mysteries. The literature lists that nine of them. Oh, she's and a pretty one. I mean, yeah, she's pretty, right, guys? Yeah, <laughs> she's pretty cute. Well, I'm surprised you pick up on that. Nice researching. Nice researching. Some people think there could be up to 15. There's the thing about these old folk tales. Stuff gets added to them over the years. There's more extra story than the main ones. Yep. But the seven mysteries will roll off the tongue way better than the nine of fifty. If you say so. But it makes sense, don't you think? It's more likely to be passed on if it's easy to remember. Huh, that's a good point. She's weird. <laughs> she's just, she's just weird, yeah. Are these really ghost stories? It's true. They are more like a collection of superstition, really. But there are some pretty disturbing ones in the mix. Yeah, like the one that's supposed to take place here, the Whispering Kennel. Oh yeah, the fisherman, yeah. People who fish in this kennel would hear a voice out, calling out, saying, uh, saying, leave it. Did it. They had to abandon their catch or the kennel would take it. Right, right. Is that what you are expecting to find here in this park? Um, not quite. We are talking about the folk tale from hundreds of years ago. After centuries of the telephone game, who knows if anything like the original story. So basically, you think the true story of Mispering Kennel might be completely different from what we know? Exactly, I'm sure of it. I mean, weren't you curious about what? People from around here have that expression left at the kennel, right? Meaning to abandon someone. This story is where it comes from. Except the story being told today is about fish. There's nothing in it about leaving people behind. Now that you mention it, that's true. So you are saying the original story maybe did involve someone being abandoned. That's what I'm trying to find out. Ah, gotcha. The right, the right of resurrection, yeah. Oh, your memory is as strong as your tolerance. I'm gonna start calling you Martini Ma Martini Man Shogo. What the hell? I'm really climbing up the drinks menu, huh? So you know about it, huh? The right of resurrection. A magazine ran a feature on it recently about uh, that got practically everyone talking about it. Really? That's where I heard about it. Still, I don't know. It seems a bit uh, too far-fetched to be true. So the right of resurrection is the forbidden art of bringing back the dead to life, concocted by a famous onmyoji from an ancient age. Rumors has it, an old manuscript containing actual concrete details about right was recently discovered. The rumors come from a presentation given by a local historian, Hideki Ara Araishi, uh, at an academic conference. You sure know about, you sure know a lot about this stuff, yeah. It's because I'm secretly a huge occult buff, all right. I I kind of got that, yeah. <laughs> oh, but if a researcher spoke about it at uh, an academic conference it must have uh, some basis in fact exactly that's why i believe in right of resurrection is real 
Now I'm starting to believe it too. Good. The pursuit of the unknown started with belief. I got that from Professor Arashi Araishi Araishi himself, huh? Alright. On Miyoji, that's what I heard every time I read Japanese horror tale. On Miyoji it's like you know, it's just like anime, right? <laughs> it's just like anime guys, yeah, it's fine. Alright. So we're gonna find. Wait, hang on, I got another question. Hmm? You mentioned the right of resurrection. Are you looking for that too? Does it uh, have something to do with the seven mysteries of Honjo? Oh, you are sharp! I could cut my finger on you. To tell the truth. <laughs> what the fuck? It's actually the other way around. What do you mean? Hmm, well. I started off searching for the right of resurrection. But along the way, I realized that I needed to investigate the seven mysteries of Honjo first. I see, so then. Why are you looking for the right? If you are looking into a way to bring someone back from the dead. Does that mean you have got someone you want to bring back? Um, you know what? Forget it. Ah. It just came to mind, so I thought I did ask. I didn't mean to pray. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I figured I did need to tell you at some point. It's Ogopogo. Ogopogo? Yeah, I want to bring... Okoboko <laughs> I can't read Okopogo back to life He died in an accident about a month ago Opo Okopogo died? Yeah, oh right Okopogo was my dog <laughs> Good free name <laughs> Ogo what? <laughs> I had him for 8 years Oh, I mean I see Hmm she want to resurrect her dog? Ah, <sighs> uh, okay, your dog. Gotcha. You spent a long time together. Losing him must have uh, been really hard for you. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not sure if the right even works on dogs. But as soon as I found out about it, I knew I had to give it a try. Uh, I mean, if you know it happened to Ruka, I, I don't think I would want that for Ruka. You know what I mean? Yeah. What if he's like a full metal alchemist? Oof, nah. I don't think I could forgive myself if I just let the opportunity pass by. I see. I, I can't relate to that, but you know. Definitely. Now I understand why you feel so strongly about it. You sure about that? This guy is just yes man, yeah. Thanks for telling me. I know this must be hard to talk about. Hmm, but you know what? All that led me... All that led to me meeting you. So at least something good came out of it. Wow, this girl, damn, she's smooth. What the hell? Thought that doesn't mean I will stop looking, obviously. Yoko. I will do anything I can to help you. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Yeah, I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah, I'm gonna resurrect your dog, yeah. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, girl, I'm a, I will resurrect the dog for you. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> It's the same. <laughs> what a cute girl. I was. You would be yes, man. Really? You're, go you're gonna resurrect the dog? Damn, Kodika. Let's keep up the hard work then, yeah? <laughs> Damn. What's that got to do with the seven mystery, yeah? I would too. Oh, really? Guys, sheesh. So, about the connection between this right and the seven mysteries. Putting together everything we have talked about. My guess is that the original stories behind the seven mystery, the true stories are the key to finding the right of resurrection. And that's why you are here searching for one of them. Do I have that right? Wow, 10 out of 10! You are proving to be quite the capable assistant. Wait, since when I was your assistant? Anyway, this is all just hearsay but... Some say that what led to the seven mysteries coming to be was the right of resurrection itself. Ah, don't the stories come from the Edo period? I thought the right of resurrection was supposed to be way older than that. Right, it seemed that an Onmyoji from the Edo period rediscovered the ancient art. That old manuscript I mentioned with all the details of how to use the right. Apparently, it was written in the Edo period. Alright. I never told you his name. The manuscript is called Record of Fates. 
well, what a name. And it speculates that the secret of the right is hidden within the seven mystery of Honjo. So now the seven mysteries are the hot new trend. Trend among who you know, uh, this whole thing is starting to sound pretty questionable. Come on, remember what I said about the pursuit of the unknown. It starts with belief, right? We have to believe in in ghosts. Nah. <gasps> Whoa! What the hell? It feels like the air just changed. Oh shit! <gasps> what? Really? What? 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 I feel eyes on my back. I can't move. What? There's eyes! No! No, 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 no. Is there something behind me? Yoko, are you okay? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, hey, what's wrong? Stay with me. No, 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 there can't be a Noah. Oh, shit! Oh, no, no way, guys. Oh, I have to. I have to. <laughs> I have to. I have to say. <laughs> Oh guys, are you ready guys? Are you ready? Are you ready with me? Oh, no. Nope. Something got your core really rattle. What am I gonna do? Why? Why? Ah, ah. Yoko, Yoko. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? What am I gonna do? <laughs> it's no use. She's no condition to talk. I have no fucking idea what do you want I, I I look back guys I look back You know what I mean? I look back <clears throat> Yoko pining over there but I don't see anything out of ordinary Push push Oh I don't get I don't get this Push What's going on? Did something happen? <gasps> huh? Nani? Yoko The fuck? <laughs> eh? Huh? Oh shit! <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> huh? What the? What's this? Say something. What is it? Why? Why? Why is this happening? Oh! Thank God she didn't. Um, uh, you're like just zooming in my face. Yeah. What the hell? Shogo Okie. We are yeah, we are playing as him, yeah. Yoko, answer me. Yoko! N no way, it can't be. Why? Oh my fucking god, what the hell? What the hell? Just happened. No, damn it! I got a bigger problems. What the fuck, Yoko? Just hold on. Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> what the? Oh god, she's not breathing. She's cold. I I don't feel a pulse. This can't be happening. All right, an ambulance. So I gotta call ambulance. I need phone. <laughs> what the hell, guys? Ah! Right, at uh, the phone. I gotta call ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> CPR? I'm not gonna CPR that, guys. I'm just saying. Uh, <clears throat> I call it in. The ambulance shouldn't be long. But is it going to make a difference? Her body gone stiff and her skin is cold. I don't think she's breathing. What the hell? She looks more like a mannequin than a person now. 
I don't think there's any there's any coming back from that. Oh really? I don't get it. Just a few minutes ago we were chatting away without care in the world. CPR got that me really? Yoko? There's no jump scare Yeah the comment saying it's not scary guys, yeah. What the hell? They'd be like, oh it's kinda you know, it's kinda disappointing. You know, at first it was good. Yeah, they said at first it was good, but then you know it's not scary, yeah, at all. After after the beginning, yeah. How did this happen? Uh because you try to resurrect a fucking dog, that's why, yeah. This is why you don't resurrect dog guys, yeah. How could someone so bright and bubbly just suddenly drop dead? Wait, she died? Resurrect her. Huh? Oh, that's right. If that right of resurrection she was talking about really exists, there might be a way to bring her back. If someone can just drop dead out of nowhere like they were cursed, then why shouldn't there be a way to bring them back to life? Is this guy r for real? You could believe in it, so if I believe in her, it seems completely possible. Should I? <coughs> maybe. Just maybe I can still save her. <laughs> Extra grind mindset. He should be a gacha gamer, guys. Yeah. Maybe her soul got pulled out of something. I think she saw something, right? And then she just dead, yeah. So maybe? Even if I got to deal with the spirit senses and curses or and whatever I gotta try really <laughs> Bro before you get to resurrect her you gotta po police talk yeah what the hell This guy just went in for like directly Wait for me Yoko I promise I will use the right of res resurrection to bring you back <laughs> What <laughs> I see Man, I, I would not want to isekai into this world, yeah. Right before she died, I felt a strange presence a few times. And it seems like she saw something, something that shook her to the bone. There's definitely something strange going on and maybe it's still here. What? No way! What could she have seen? She mentioned that the Rite of Resurrection and the Seven Mysteries were connected. So maybe whatever it she s was saw, it had something to do with that whispering kennel. Whoa! Oh my god, g ah, no thanks. Again? Oh, it's- oh, it, oh, why is this game so scary? Let me that presence again. It must be around here somewhere, but where? Where? Where this? Those kind of game, really? Eh? Oh man, I can't take it. <laughs> oh my god. It's gonna be... This is those kind of game, really, guys. Oh, there's something here. I know it. I just have to look harder. <laughs> Although some... If some innocent poking around about seven mystery was enough to get Yoko killed, there's a good chance the same thing happening to me. But I have already knew that when I decided to get involved. Really? This guy is dumb as fuck! What's that? Huh, there's something on the ground. Did Yoko drop this? I didn't notice it till now, but there's some small wooden uh, sculpture by her side. It's three or four centimeters tall, and it looks like it could have been uh, be a keychain, but from how it rotted, it is. the. It's way too old for that. Despite how tiny it is, I feel an almost palpable malice radiating from it. What the hell is this thing? Whispering Kel? Oh shit! What the? Let's go. Help me, lift me, it hurts. Wow! <laughs> yeah. Such a deep sorrow, resentful memory, flowing into my mind. Drop dead, okay. Let's go. Kill them. Those who walk away. Kill them all. What the fuck? You have acquired the power. <laughs> Curse Dawn, Whisper Cannon. You can use it to kill. 
those who walk away from you Walk away from you? Press the use curse button to kill your target as they attempt to depart Where is the kill... Kill button? Where is the kill button? What the hell? No Sa Colosse Kill you yeah. Oh, can you hear it? Curse bearer. Oh, this is so different from what I expect, yeah. You who so strongly desire the rocks. Kill them, okay? Should seek the life restoration. Take your curse in hand, alright? Oh. Read lips. Read lives by the score, alright? Score? And claim their soul dragged for your own. What the fuck is this? Claim enough to set this vessel. And by their sacrifice, claim the gift of resurrection. Or better yet, slay your fellow cursed bearers. But well, the others uh, are the equal of droves of lesser souls. Wait, this is a killing game? <laughs> I thought it's a mystery game, no? Alright. What the hell was that? Yeah. It was like the cursed memories flow directly into my mind. In an instant, I, un I understood everything. When I pick up this cursed stone, the whispery cannon must have cursed me. I have also heard a strange voice. He told me that if I want the right, I have to kill a bunch of people with this curse stone and collect their souls. <laughs> it's a killing game? I guess it's good to know that the right really exists. But the thing is, uh, want me to kill people to get it? Screw that. Putting my own life on the line is one thing. Murdering other people is another thing entirely. And not just one person either. Scores is saved. So this is, uh, this is the curse of the Whispering Kennel, huh? A curse that traps the soul of anyone who tries to walk away from me. But if I use it and collect enough souls, then I'll be able to bring your course back. What the fuck? He just said fuck it at first. Now he's like, yeah, let's go. And there was something about the other curse bearers being worth more souls drags. Jeez. I'm really at loss here. <laughs> what is this game? <clears throat> oh, of course. I don't know how it took me so long to realize. This, uh, this has to be some weird pranks she's playing. <laughs> what? Any second now, she's going to open her eyes, get up and have a good laugh at how, I sca how scared I was. Right, Yoko. Alright. Alright, he's uh, he's uh, right, he's uh, he's sad now, yeah. Boy, I did I really fall for that one. You really got me good. Wait, no, I got it. You really were some sort of spirit level. Alright, alright, man, get the fuck up, yeah. Now I've got my own curse stone and the curse of whispering candle. I'm in the way. Over my head. Was Yoko the one who dropped this curse stone? Does that mean she was the previous owner of the curse of Whispering Kennel? Then did she real? Uh, did she know what the right of resurrection involved? It feel like I'm being watched. Is someone there? Where are you? Oh my fucking god! Oh, I might not continue the game. <laughs> I might. Uh, I might Oh my god! Oh, what the? Give me that, eh? Huh? Oh! Something flew by, what the fuck? Now that I look closer, is someone there? Oh. Uh. Call out. Hey, who's there? Oh! Oh my, how unexpected. There was something flew by us now, yeah. It was your curse that killed that poor woman. I take it. Huh? 
Cat got a tongue, Mr. Oki. Oki. A tall, humorous looking man. He doesn't look familiar to me. He's acting like he knows me though. Have you met someone before? Who are you and how do you know my name? Do you mean to say you don't recognize me? This comes uh, as a bit of shock, I must say. Look a little harder. I dare you say it will jog your memory. What's with this guy? Jog my memory? Look a little harder? Look way harder, yeah. <laughs> this man who is here, he looks like... He looks to be in his 30s or 40s. Hmm. He's all dressed up in a suit and tie, but somehow he looks real shady. What's he doing here? Was he watching us all the all this time? Something tells me curses are nothing new to him. If it's one of the other curse bearers, then I need to be careful. He might be here to kill me and take my curse stone. But by the same token, killing him will net me a lot of soul drags. Wait, this game is killing game? <laughs> what the hell? Right, I'm safe here. Yeah. Oh, it's different from what I think, yeah. So not there. What the fuck is that? Huh? The hell is that? It looks like a light floating in the mid air. Looks harder. Look harder. Oh! Did I call? I've called an ambulance already. It should be here soon. <gasps> Whoa, it's coming closer. <laughs> yeah! Is this another one of the seven mysteries? It looks like a real also beast. Maybe? Was there anything like that in the seven mysteries? It's coming closer, yeah. I still don't have a clue who you are. How do you know me? Have we met? Dear me, it is always humbling to find that one is not as well known as one believers. Perhaps my name will help you remember. I am Takumi Yomioka. Takumi Yomi Yomi Yu Yomioka. Does that ring any bells? I think I've heard it that name somewhere before, maybe. So, you do not even know my name. How disappointing. Disappointing, but for two shoes. What? The profile didn't say she died, alright. Well then, Mr. Okia, allow me to make you a proposition. You have a curse stone in your possession. I would like you to give it to me. How do you know? How do you know about that? Why? I saw the whole thing. It doesn't explain how you know what a curse stone is. Even I barely have a handle on it. You know about the seventh mystery of Honjo and their curses and all that, don't you? But of course, those cursed stones, they are terribly dangerous things, capable of killing without a trace so long as their conditions are met. I hadn't thought of it that way, but yeah. Imagine what might happen if one fell into wrong hands. They would have saved in mind, don't you agree? Although it seems I have arrived too late to stop you from killing that poor woman. What are you? That wasn't me! I'm willing to overlook your indiscretion, but only if you give me your cursed stone. No way in hell. For all I know, the wrong hands are yours. Very well, I had hoped to settle this amicably, but you leave me no choice. What? Is he gonna, is he gonna kill me now? This Takumi guy must have a cursed stone of his own. How would I know? 
He must have a cold stone. He can't have a cold stone. I mean, he must have right. At least it'd be safer to assume so. Yeah, I will explain. Uh, it would explain how he knows so damn much. Yeah, so he can kill me instantly as long as he fulfills his stone's conditions. Until I know what those conditions are, I can't make any sudden moves. I have to keep him talking. I uh oh, it's like a mind playing game. What the hell? Learn what I can and figure out a way to get my curse out first. It's a mind, uh, mind game. Really? How can I get him to leave me behind? Thought it would be a waste to not take this chance to find out about the other curse barrels. All right. I need a topic that will keep him talking. My best bet would be. What's up with that light? Yeah. What's up with that weird ball of light? Is that your curse? Whatever do you mean? I'm afraid I see no such thing. Huh? But it's. Oh! <gasps> it's gone! It was right there! I see. It seems you have become the mark of another curse bearer. What? Huh? Mark? I'm getting mark? About Yoko. How do you know? Uh, how do I know it wasn't you who killed Yoko with your curse? Mr. Okie, if you are hoping to trick me into revealing whatever, <laughs> whether I possess a curse stone, I assure you, you cannot. Fuck. It is your curse that was res uh, responsible, Mr. Okia. No matter what you might tell yourself. It doesn't make sense. I only found this after Yoko died. Oh. Don't play dumb. I know you are the one who did this. Whether you choose to believe me is your uh, pre raw getif, but you are mistaken. But you should know that multiple curses awaken at once. The stroke of midnight. Uh, there are many other curses in Honjo and many other curse bearers. It is not premature of you to assume that I am one. I'm the one responsible. Wait, so you are, you are saying that at midnight a bunch of people became curse bearers? There's no point in continuing this conversation. For all I know, he would be, he could be telling me anything. Yeah. About other curse bearers. Yeah. For each of the seven mysteries, there's a uh, curse and curse bearers, right? So, the one he's holding right now is the candle. Do you know who any of the others are? And what would you do with that information? Your intentions are nothing untoward, I hope. It is uh, in the hearts of the selfish and insipid. Of those who would be most tempted by the right of resurrection, that the curse take root. And the curse resentful memories in part of a powerful urge to kill. As I am certain you are aware. You are a victim of circumstances. Alright, we want circumstance. Mr. Okia, but your situation is exceeding exceedingly dangerous. You must really cringe your curse stone for your own benefit before it's too late. Too late? It's already too late. <laughs> There's no going back, yeah. And if you are going to stand in my way, then I have to stop you. What is wrong with this guy, yeah? Am I uh, to take that as a threat, Mr. Okia? He's 25? He doesn't act like 25, just saying. I would encourage you to exercise more discretion before you fall full of a curse. About my stone, yeah. What do you want with my cursed stone anyway? I intend to steal, uh, steal it away in secure location so it may never be used again. I'm certain that you too would rather be free from this burden. The power to kill without fear is con of consequences is itself a curse. There are many nearer do wells in this world who could not resist the urge to use it. All the more so if promised the chance to resurrect the dead. You will steal it away how? You will put it in the care of sorcerer who is well worse in supernatural matters. 
If I've gained the trust, I must ask you to hand me your cursed stone. <laughs> I would give it to him, yeah. Maybe I would die, but it is what it is, yeah. About Yoko. Why are you, uh, why are you so convinced it was my cross that killed Yoko? Why? It's simply that. Hmm? Hmm? I don't believe I just saw your comp- uh, What? <laughs> I don't believe I just saw your companion move. Stop. Stop. She what? Oh, fuck me. Uh, I mean... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta talk to you first Before I give you my stone Oh, uh, cursed stone I want to know who you are I need to know if I can trust you A reasonable enough concern Very well I'm an associate of the great sorcerer Suigen Gamyodo Suigen Gamyodo Indeed you must have heard of him. I believe he was recently featured in a certain magazine. Oh, Myoji? Alright. Your unfortunate companion there came seeking his counsel a few days ago. It was from her that I learned your name. I thought she would have mentioned me to you, but it seems he was presumptuous of me. And what? Uh, when, this, uh, when did this happen? Why? Just two or three days ago. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm not buying that. <laughs> really? He knows. I don't know who he is. So he's just trying to feed me a story. Huh? I've only known Yoko for months, but she never mentioned going to see some mistake. But so it is Yoko we are talking about here, so it's hard to say for sure. I hope that's enough to convince you that my hands are more than trustworthy. This is mind game? <laughs> I'm, I'm bad with mind game. How would I know to trust him or not? What are you doing? Should you not check on her? Oh, fuck me. She moved? Yoko? Oh, fuck me, nah. Alright, jump scare. Wait, she doesn't look any different. Alright, jump scare time. Oh. Oh! He tricked Earth! No. Damn it all. Oh, this is those game, really? <laughs> Torture, uh, it's like tutorial, yeah. My, my, Jin, you seem to have arrived at a less than favorable result. There is more conjecture on my part, but perhaps you ought to be more careful about turning your back on unsculpture. Uh, alright, yeah. So that guy kills us. If you're not, you may make as many attempts as you please from before your unfortunate mishap. Try again. Very well, just remember whatever you do, do not turn around. Oh, really? He hasn't taken his eye off me for a second, even now he's still staring right at me. Who the hell is he? Recall. Oh, okay. Takumi Yomioka. Yomioka. Who the? How the hell does he knows me? Yeah. It's not like I have been getting out much. I barely have a life outside of work. <laughs> I have no life, really. Wait, that's it. My work. That's how he knows me. My work. I never actually met him, so it totally slipped my mind. Takumi worshipped the company chairwoman. Chairwoman? Oh, he worshipped a... He's a simp! <laughs> chairwoman, Natsue Yamamori. Unwavering loyalty. Damn, to Yamamori. Alright. So again, Gamyodo, my ass. <laughs> this guy thinks he can sell me anything! <laughs> we just get tricked, what the fuck do you mean? But I don't know if having figured that out helped me much right now. Think. If I want to use my curse on him, 
I have to get him to walk away and leave me behind. Now, what would I convince him to do that? Scenario 1. How does he... Oh, it's chill. He does what he came here to do. Scenario 2. He suddenly needs to be somewhere else. He probably here for my crust stone, so I don't think I did get out of scenario 1 alive. Yeah, he's gonna kill us. Scenario 2 means hoping something uh, will happen by chance and luck is rarely on my side. So my hope is only scenario 3. Something makes, impo uh, makes it impossible for him to stay. I don't have to keep him away forever. I just need to get him to walk out away. Yeah, to walk away once. Surrounding. Here you go. I can't show my back on him, he's gonna kill me. Oh. Takumi's identity. Suigen Gamyudel, my ears. I know who you are. You work at Hihaku Soaps, just like me. You're the champ woman's secretary. Ah, here we go. Well, that took you long enough. Your lack of company loyalty is frankly astounding. Allow me to reiterate my request then. Not as a stranger, but as your superior. Hey, we are not at office. You don't get to push me around like that. Where is our chairwoman secretary even out looking for Kirsten anyway? I refrain from revealing myself precisely to avoid such a question, but I suppose needs months, alright? Since the dawn of the Showa era, the land of Honjo has nurtured our company's growth and the wise was sore. It is our duty to ensure that crystals do not take roots in this land. We know as our home. I'm not sure I buy that. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's it's bluffing. It's bluffing. Like many things, it is not a matter that concerns concerns the rank and file. The chairwoman has no desire to spread fear through our beloved company's birthplace. Now, if that's all, I must insist that you hand me your curse stone. What the hell? Nah. Ciao. I was gonna click tank. I don't have to keep him away forever. I just need to get him walk away once. Wait, I've got it. I know how I can convince him to leave. How? Oh crap, I totally forgot. What is it? Hand over crossstone? Nah. I call an ambulance. Oh fuck, safe, yeah. How am I gonna trick him then? Ambulance, right, yeah. Someone's coming by, right? Oh, I right, I forgot to mention. I call an ambulance. Yeah, it should be coming any minute now. An ambulance? Have you lost your mind? They will arrive to find you standing next to a corpse alone in the dead of night. No doubt they will hand you over the police who will have some question for you. Probably, but I'm sticking with your call. Unless you want to join me. Ah! Unless you want to get locked up with me in an integration room. You'd better get out of here. You're telling the truth, I see. They are getting closer by the second, yeah. I cannot afford to be wavelength. I'm, I feel I must take my leave. <gasps> Wait, I'm gonna use curse on him, really? Oh, uh, do I want to kill? Man, you really want to kill, really? <laughs> Can we do the pacifist round? Yeah, actually, I don't want to kill anyone, guys. You know what I mean, yeah. Sooner or later, I will return for your curse stone. I only hope you do not abuse it in the meantime. Well then, I bid you good evening. Hmm? Shogo, okay, you die. Oh, I didn't, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. What? Huh? Eh? Eh? Huh? I didn't use. Yeah. He's dead. Is Otto really? He's really dead. So this is what a curse stone can do. Oh wait, the game forced me. Yeah, what the hell? Whoa.
What is wrong with him? <laughs> eh? Dear, really? You're so sus right now, yeah. I left the park immediately. I felt bad for leaving Yoko, but I couldn't stay there. What is wrong with him? <laughs> the emergency medical services will probably take, a, take care of her body. Takumi's too. This will be all over the news tomorrow. But until then, at, at least I know she will be in a safe place. Alright. I have to find my next sacrifice quickly. <laughs> this guy is sus, yeah. I've got no time to waste. I need to find the other cursed barrels and collect their souls. Really? Killing Takumi barely got me any soul drags. I guess he mustn't have been a cursed barrel after all. It's not enough. The soul of non cursed barrels amount to little more than leftover bread crumbs. I have to think of a place where the other cursed barrels of seven mysteries would be. The curses were activated at around midnight. The other are bound to be active as well. Uh, still, yeah. I should check to see if there's... Uh, if there are any other places with collection with the mysteries nearby. At the very least, the another cross barrel might be thinking the same as me, meaning I could run into them. Let's see. Which of the seven mysteries are closest? I mean, Kinshicho area right now. Okay, here. Yeah, it's too bad that we can't choose, guys. Yeah, I thought we could choose, like, not to kill. But then it doesn't make sense, right? Because if I don't kill, right, then how the story's gonna gonna go, right? Well, he became psychophobia. What the fuck? It's, at first, right, he's like, oh, it, it's, it's one thing if I die, but it's gonna be in another thing if, if I have to kill. <laughs> but then he's like, now he's like, okay, okay, guys, I have to kill as many people as possible. <laughs> Where is his character? What the hell? So he's now killing people. Yeah, I guess so. I think the game wants us to kill, which is weird, yeah. To be honest, I don't care about Yoko. <laughs> we just met him uh we just met her like one month, guys. Really? For a girl? You just met for one month? You're gonna kill people to resurrect her? Really? That doesn't even like uh there's no proof that you could resurrect her, by the way, yeah. What the hell? The haunting clappers are on the other side of the Oyoko River. Just a just over Su Shumoku Bridge. The foot washing mansion. Alright, the curses, yeah. Past the train tracks. I guess I should start there. Okay. Escape God <laughs> wearing right. Good morning, for joining. Welcome. Is the game good? It's scary, yeah. <laughs> Scarier than I expected, yeah. Uh, is it good? I'm not sure, but it's kind of how to say interesting, yeah. Like I want to know what happened, but I will see, yeah. I thought it's gonna be like Famicom, but it's not. <laughs> it's not like Famicom. Famicom is more like drama, yeah. I think. I will collect the other cross bearer so before dawn and bring your course back to life. <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> I should go to another location connected to seven mysteries of Honjo. Wait, we're gonna resurrect her like right now? Like now? Damn, dude. Move, yeah. Too hardcore, man. Yeah, sure. She's grinding for real. What the hell? Like, it's 2, 2 a.m. right now, guys. Yeah. The Shomoku Bridge is supposedly where the bell from Haunting Clapper's story used to be. I wandered around here for a while, but I didn't see anything interesting. The only thing I found was what it looks like a 100 yen lighter someone threw away. I don't know if the cursors are vulnerable to fire, but maybe I will have a use for it. So, uh, it seems like I can't like avoid killing. So my bet is, uh, I try my best to not die, yeah. To not die and kill people, guys. <laughs> I, I will become a killer, yeah. You get jump scared? Yes. 
uh, my chat get scared uh, of my scream. <laughs> I scared and they get scared, yeah. <laughs> Think. Of course, I didn't just find a lighter. There was a ton of cigarettes but strewn across the ground too. Seems like places is well in need of some wooden clappers to warn about fire. All right. All right. Let's so move, yeah. About here. Lovers Warrior? Ah, oh, it's alright guys. <laughs> Both the food washing mansion and the ever burning lanterns are from this area. This late night, even a road as big as this one is silent as the grave, alright? Is it just me? Or is it the oddly dark around here? Could it this be? No way! Stop! Could this be? Have I already fulfilled its condition to kill? Should I get out of here? Or should I stick around to figure out what just what I'm dealing with? <laughs> there are something's over there! Is that a curse I call? A curse of seven mysteries given form. I knew it. There's a curse bearer around here. How would I know? <laughs> Get closer? What the hell? Wait, there's a guy, yeah. No, approaching it would be stupid. I should keep my distance, yeah. If I stay here like this, I risk fulfilling condition for that person's curse. Seems like I can still back out if I want, but do I want to? It doesn't seem hostile. Is it trying to tell me to get to come closer? What should I do? Alright, fine, get closer, yeah. Oh fuck me, yeah. <laughs> it's getting darker, yeah. I think we die. Oh, done it. What now? What, yeah? This isn't the curse doing. Somebody's pulling me in. Eh? Oh, that hurts. It looks like I'm inside of a building. Did it toss me in here? I think I will have uh I will have to use the lighter, yeah. It's right, I still have the lighter I pick up earlier. Yeah. Oh Perfect in uh it works. Now I can make out my surrounding a bit better. Ah what the Something Dread he called a light that ruins everything Is someone there? Are you the curse the barrel? It's over. Time to get out of here. Use curse? Wait, he's running. Was he right here this whole time? This is my chance. Oh, what the? Oh, uh, why? Huh? Yeah, I just click use curse. Yeah, there was a close one. I didn't catch a glimpse of the curse barrel, but it seems like I'm alright. Oh, 30%? Wh what? <laughs> His curse must have uh, had something to do with the light and darkness. My guess would be the ever burning lantern. So there's a connection between the seven mysteries and the way the curse work. That must be. That might be useful to know. Wha Wait, it's all good now? What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, just use curse, yeah. I guess maybe his condition is something about me being in total darkness. His condition for killing me, maybe, yeah. It's a good thing I had this lighter. He seems to have saved me. Oof, nice. Nice. 
I see. Yeah, okay, I think we're done here. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Where's this game? Yeah. All right. Uh, move. Oh, there's a guy here. Yeah. I'm here at Ho On Ji Bridge, the location link with the beckoning light. Hmm. Hardly anyone's around, not surprising, seeing as past 2 in the mo morning, yeah, it feels like the whole world has gone to sleep. Right, that like me. Someone standing on the bridge, silhouetting themselves against the sky. Observe. Ooh. Wait, 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 fine, I'll go first. <laughs> Whoa. Those jump scare me, what the hell? Mm, I see, interesting. Well, now, this is a surprise. Eh? Who are you? If you have got the wrong but guy, just say so. Muzan? <laughs> yeah, do you know? Do you know the anime? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know the anime about slaying demon? He's a flam uh, flamboyant fellow. I wouldn't bat an eyelid if this were the, the inner city, but he stands out like a sore thumb in these parts. Alright, let's talk here. Yeah. Come now. It won't hurt at least tell me your name. What are you doing here? Yeah. Very good! <laughs> yeah, I, d I didn't give him my name, guys. Yeah, very good. You shouldn't give up your name so easily, especially not to strangers. Gone is the edge uh, when in what? Gone is the uh, is the edge when my mate rise. What the fuck does that mean? Nowadays, it's information that rules the world. Gone. You did do well to remember that. You are the one who ask. <laughs> Your name, your address, your phone number, your age, your occupation, your personal information is much more valuable than you think. <gasps> VTuber? <laughs> Don't dox yourself. You should treat those things with care. True! <laughs> so I guess you don't plan on telling me anything either then. Yeah. You can call me Richard Kai, private detective. Oh, he's a private detective. But did you just say not to? Uh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. You say you are a detective? That's correct. I'm a man who deals in secrets. Don't expect me to share any more information with you, though. I only told you so that we could have an understanding. Hmm. I wonder if we actually don't have to kill, yeah, you know what I mean, guys. <laughs> then we become the bad guy, yeah. What's the detective doing around here? Booking, and that's all I can say about. Uh, I could ask the same thing, too. Yeah, maybe Yeah, maybe we became the bad guy, yeah. That maybe we will get arrested. <laughs> maybe we get killed. <laughs> this seems like a strange uh, place to stop. What brought you here? What brought you here? I'm looking for someone. I saw a strange man. Why should I tell you? I saw a strange man. Yeah, why not? I saw a strange man looking around. I see. Then let me ask a different question. Uh, why do you go of your ways to strike up a conversation with that strange man? Uh, him? I'm looking for someone. I figure it was worth seeing if you knew anything. You don't say in that case I just might be able to help you. Can you describe the person you are looking for? Ooh. This game is very mind like mind game guys, yeah. It's like they are you are trying to figure out what they're saying, then you they're trying to figure out what you're saying. <laughs> don't worry about it. I know, I say a person, but I'm actually looking for something that called the beckoning light. The beckoning light. Aha, the seven mysteries of Honjo. 
That's right. A friend of mine was really into the, that kind of stuff, yeah. She said the beckoning lights appear here in the middle of the night. I want to see for myself. Ha <laughs> ha Really? You are the adventurous type, aren't you? Unfortunately, I think you are out of luck. I have been here for a while, but I haven't seen any strange lights. Alright, well, thanks for telling me. But just wait a second. There's still time left for it to appear. Why don't we just wait together? Thanks, but I think I'm good. Really? Well, I'm sorry I couldn't be any more help. Yeah, I think he's alright. Yeah, if not, he's gonna die. Yeah. Ah, that's right. I meant to ask. Do you have a light on you? A light? You mean for secrets? Secrets, yeah. Well, I got this, uh, this cheap one I pick up, but that's it. Oh no, they, they, this will do nicely. Are you sure? Anyway, I should uh, get back to work once you are gone, of course. Is there a reason I can't be here? Of course, my work is top secret. Huh. I mean, you can have it, yeah. But... Doesn't seem like he has anything to do with the curse bearers. I should move on. If he... If he's been here for as long as he says, there's a good chance he's seen something. But I don't think it's worth asking. He seems like all kinds of trouble. Sure. Alright, the bridge surrounding. We're done talking, right? Okay, I have looked around the area. I should head somewhere else now. Where's to next? Right, the park. High school. High school? We have to go to high school in the middle of the night? No. Alright, let's go to the park. Yeah, it's the same. What the hell? <laughs> Where am I in the park? Fuck. There's people there. What the hell? This is Mito Ro uh, Ritual Park, location of the Taiko of Tsugaru, one of the seven mysteries. Huh? Someone's there. Two men, one middle aged and the other a young adult, talking to each other. What is people doing outside the park in 2 a.m. in the morning? What the hell? <laughs> There's a good chance that one of them could be a cursed bearer. I will try to scope things out without being spot. To pick up their conversation from this distance, I have to focus in and watch them for a while, I think. It looks like I'll be spotted, I'll quickly hide behind a tree and move out of line of sight. How? Like this? <gasps> we'll head out of cell, I bet with something. Huh? Maybe you're right, but still, the seven mysteries. Was there a noise from behind us just now? No! <laughs> There's nothing here! No, mine is my imagination, yeah. What is this game? But does the curse really let you kill someone with an object like that? Huh? Sorry. I'm gonna check back there. No! No, 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 no! What is this game? 2D but it's scary, guys. Oh, nothing, I guess. This play is just keeping me on edge. <laughs> I knew it, yeah. Ah, uh -huh, sorry, sir. <laughs> Would you mind if we asked you a few questions? Oh my god, this game. Oh, they found me. <laughs> Yeah, you fucking sus. Oh, you two are police officers. Yeah. Ah, people often say we don't look it. Sorry if we started you. I'm sure there's no problem, but we'll have to ask you some question as procedure. Uh, procedure. I'm June Ariel. I'm from the Metropolitan Police Department Investigative Division. 
All right. And this old guy with a scowling mark is Chief Inspector Tetsuo Tsutsumi. Tsutsumi? <laughs> My superior officer. You wouldn't guess from that front, but it's actually quite the sweet tooth. Sweet tooth, huh? So they're good guys, yeah. I think we should just kill the curse barrel, yeah. Normal people, we shouldn't, we shouldn't do anything, yeah. Uh oh, they are detectives. They are not investigating the cops that was here, are they? No, I'm still fine anyway. It's not like the curse could show up as evidence in the police investigation. True. I can hardly believe how calm I am. I just need to keep a cool head and not panic. Right, veteran cop. What about him? He's a newbie, maybe? Right, let's talk. Now first, could we could you show me some ID with your name, address and occupation? I'll be okay. I better off just going along with it. Yeah. Wow, you work for Hihaku Soups. I heard I hear they have been raking it in lately. Is that true? I don't know much about that, I'm just a recent hire. People are loving that new hair product you have. I use it all the time myself. Thank you for your patronage, yeah. Ariel, you hear? Oh my god, they are chatting, yeah. You use hair for drugs? Yeah. Sorry, boss. Uh, boss is the kind of caveman <laughs> who thinks using only one bar of soap for ho all his washing makes him cool or something. <laughs> it's three in one? Really? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Real come on, thanks for joining. Welcome. Caveman. I don't think that. I just don't care enough to use anything else. Alright. <laughs> okay, they are just normal people. Alright. What about him? I'll leave the question up to him. I got nothing to ask. Alright, sure. Anyway, Mr. Oki, okay, what is it that you are doing here? Uh, uh actually I'm searching for the seven mysteries. Have you hear have you heard of the seven mysteries of Honjo Detective? Yeah yeah, I have heard of them. We were just talking about them a minute ago. A girl I know is into them, that's how I got interested. I see. I seem to remember even Mito. Richard Park had one of the mystery associated with it. What was it again? Park? Taiko. I have no idea, yeah. <laughs> Taiko Zugaru. Evergreen. Food washing? I don't think it's food washing, yeah. Mm, I'm just gonna random guess, yeah. Uh, okay, it's Taiko of Tsugaru, yeah. This whole area used to be residents of Tsugaru clan of samurai. Are you sure you're really interested in the seven mysteries? Oh, uh, sorry. So much to remember, I got a little mix up. Come on now, boss. It's not like this interrogation, yeah. So, we're gonna trust them? I think uh, it's not like trusting them, but not making us sus, yeah? Because we killed someone just now, guys, yeah? <laughs> we killed like two person, no? So... So that's why you were hanging around the in the middle of the night, yeah? Discover anything interesting? Uh... No, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys! Ah! Nothing, uh, till I admit I haven't been looking into these things too hard. Right, I think I understand your situation. Thanks for your answers. Uh, now it's quite late, so you better be heading home. True, I'm gonna go home, yeah. Hmm, something wrong? You are free to go. Leave. Did they leave? show no sign of leaving? I don't have conclusive proof that they are cursed bearers either. The risk is too high for me to stick around talking with them for long. Yes. Leave. I see. Well, I'll be going now. Take care. Yes. I have to leave. Dude, you, don't, you, can't, you can't just hang here. Yeah, you're too detective now. 
Wait, what? Well, I'm very sure one of them is Cursed Barrel. Getting them to leave. Really? One of them? We hot. Maybe I should go somewhere else before they get any more suspicious of me. Whoop. Maybe the young guy, yeah. Maybe he's uh, he's one of the barrel, yeah. Oh my god, high skill or oh, fuck. Ooh. All right. Let's see here. Ah, someone's there. Huh? Whoa, what the? High skill girl. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Ooh. Yeah, I'm fine, but do you just climb over the school gate? What the fuck? Is she a, is she a ghost? A girl in a uniform that... Why, why is he scaring her? <laughs> a girl in a uniform came climbing over the front gates. She must be a student here. Hmm? That thing she's hiding in her hand. <gasps> no doubt about it. It's a cursed stone! The girl is a cursed barrel. Are we gonna kill a high school girl now? Eh? What's going on? Why are you at a school this late? Um, well... I'm really sorry. I'm in a big hurry right now. So I gotta go. Pau, kill her. <laughs> kill her. <laughs> We're gonna kill everyone, guys. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh shit, we're gonna kill everyone! <laughs> I'm longing for sunlight. Yo! Yo! Hey, wait. Wait! Huh? I didn't, I didn't click, guys. I didn't click, yeah. Oh, a curse? God, why? Can't be. I'm s Mio, I'm sorry. <gasps> I didn't, I didn't click anything, guys. It's not me, yeah. It's auto. What the hell? <laughs> I want. I will PP one your calls to life. Oh, that's why, guys. Yeah, it's not me, guys. It's not me. Ah 36. Shush. He's <laughs> still warm. This dude killed three people, guys. Yeah. The secretary, the guy in the dark room. And a high school girl in one night, guys. Yeah, this guy is determined. What the hell? I kill her. Yes, I got the curse the barrel. He's working. I just have to keep it up. How many more do I need? One, two. <laughs> what is wrong with him? Yeah. Yeah, he's just like, uh, what is wrong with this guy? I don't get him. Yeah. All right, on to the next one! On to the next one! Let's go! First, one-sided read by Ryoguku Bridge. <laughs> yeah, he's like, okay, we done it! <laughs> we done this section, we gotta go here, yeah. <clears throat> Let's go here, yeah. <laughs> he's a ghost bust master, oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with him, yeah. Too bad, like, we can't choose, yeah, what the hell? What the? 360? 360? Oh my god, nah, not 360, guys, I'm so bad with 360, please. Ugh. I think we have to... we should save, yeah. Now, nah, real, yeah, this game is scary, just just to let you know, yeah. This game is scary, oh, uh, we got jump scare, yeah. I read the game have multiple protect... oh, really? Multiple protagonists? So, have you decided what you're going to do? With your... With your... Oh, so precious. Huh? 
curse curse stone <gasps> oh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> I can see what you meant by scary. Yeah, right. You 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 just swipe, and they are in front of your face. Yeah, that's the that's the scary part. Yeah, sorry guys. Yeah, I'm sorry if I scream. Daniel, come on, thanks for joining. Welcome, come on, come on. <laughs> I mean, she's she's you know like uh, she's nice looking, honest, but you know. Oh my god, this game. As soon as I snuck into the gardens, a woman inside called out from behind behind me. Okay. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. I have a crust on. <laughs> ah yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> her, her sudden proclamation had me at loss for words. So the woman continued. I have you in a position where I can use my crust on you whenever I please. <laughs> sure, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> Surely it's scary, yeah. I'm scared. If you hand over your crystal, I will at least spare your life. In that moment, all I could squeeze out in reply was, Let me think about it. Which bring us to now? Alright. Oh shit, we have to play mind games with her again. I'm scared too, yeah. <laughs> she looks hot, but I need Jesus with me tonight. G Where is Jesus, guys? Yeah. A woman in her 30s, okay? Uh, she has a refined air about her. Like she was brought up in a family of high social se setting. But I also sense a shadow hanging over her. I wonder if it has to do with this place. Shadow? Don't I tell you? Still haven't. Made up your mind? Such indecisive man. Wait, um. I might hand over my custom depending on certain things. Will you heal me out for a moment? Oh, she's so done with me. <laughs> she didn't buy our shit. Yeah, sure, go on. About crustones. If you take my crustown, what are you going to do with it? With your crustown? It's brimming with soul drags, isn't it? Yeah, 36%. Yeah, that's why. It's already killed so many, no? Ah! She know, yeah. She know. How does she know so much? I mean, bro, you are killing left and right. What do you What do you mean? Yeah. I'd like to avoid such cruelty matter myself. Seven. Oh, fuck. She's counting down. Ah! About Kirsten, the right of resurrection, introduce yourself. I don't think she's interested in me, yeah. You want to use. You want soul drags, that means you are after the right of resurrection too. Not that I'm trying to compare our circumstances, but can I ask what led you to do to this? Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> do you mean that if my situation is more dire than yours? Did you give me your crystal? Sure. Oh my gosh, she has the Yuri looks now. She has the Yuri looks, guys, from Toki Toki, yeah, just now. Sure, I did consider it, so tell me. Liar. Yeah, I'm a liar, yes. Huh? You wouldn't hang your fate on something as superficial as that. Nor would I. Six. Damn it! Did I expose myself somehow? She said she can use her curse on me anytime. I guess I already fulfilled its condition. It could be a bluff, but since she seems to have information on me, it's probably true. I can't hand over my curse stone. I need to figure out how her curse is activated and find a way out of here. For now, maybe I can get some information by talking about something I did catch her interest. Fine. Safe. It's a mind game. Alright. If we're going to talk, we should get to know each other better. My name is stop. Huh? Let's not do that, alright? 
If I know your name, I might start to feel sorry for you. And have a harder time killing you. You would. Don't you think? Better royal game, yeah. What condition have I fulfilled since the moment I stepped foot in here? Something that I'm still doing now. Think, what could it be? Maybe something I have on me. If I suddenly trip naked... <laughs> if I suddenly strip naked on spot, I just might be able to avoid her curse. Yeah, do that! D dude, yeah! Take it off! Take everything off, yeah! No, that would, <laughs> that would take too long. She'd probably have killed me before I even take my shirt off. <laughs> Plus, I didn't look like a creep. I don't care. I would take everything off. Yeah. The other possibility is that the condition has to do with the location we are in. If being here is what activates the curse of every green beige, then I'll continue to meet that condition as long as I'm here. In which case, there's no escape. She did. Activate her curse before I ever get away from the gardens. I'm sure I did recognize it after setting it off, but it's not like I did get to do things over. Talking to her, maybe? Maybe items? Wait! Is 67 filled with soul drags? What the hell? 67? We killed that many already, guys. Just one night. <laughs> 67? What the hell? That's why she won this, yeah. We are farming the mats, yeah. So if I can't figure out her curse, I will have to set my own off. I don't see how I could make her leave till not while she's upper hand. What I can think of is to make her use her curse, damn it. Besides, there's no way I could counter attack after she curses me. Dang, Jin speed run, what the hell? We killing people left and right, guys. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> what is this? Nico? Is that a glitch? Person of interest? Yeah, we kill. Oh, guys, we kill this guy. And the other NPC, yeah. <laughs> that we don't know, yeah. Alright. Surroundings, surroundings. Do I not look at her, guys? I don't get it, yeah. <gasps> Shit. Maybe you shouldn't talk to her, yeah. What if what? Well, I skip it. What if you uh, just tell me your name? Why? If I need to call you something. Then call me ma'am. Huh? I'm alright, ma'am. Yes, what is it? Oh, uh, this badge is completely running the show here. It's four. Ah, what the hell? Ma'am. Ma'am? 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 Ma'am. Have enough. Two cross barrels. Shouldn't be carrying on like this. Fuck. I'm just guessing, but she's probably bluffing, really? Probably, guys. I can't do anything, guys, yeah. My son. <gasps> Your son? She got a son. What? He'd be in sixth grade now. If he were still alive. Ah. When I'm one of the big kids. Wait, what? 
When I'm one of the big kids, I will help look after the first and second graders, he said. He always had a strong sense of justice and responsibility. He wouldn't stand by when he saw other kids being bullied. He defended them, even if he was no match for the bully himself. He did often come home in tears, but only because he was sad that he wasn't strong enough to save others. He wanted to become a policeman when he grew up. Okay, okay, I get it. I heard enough. Oh, that's enough for you? Yeah. Hearing such a sad story just make me all more sorry that I haven't changed my mind. I see, heh. So even after what I told you. To- Ah! Uh, now you got her, tell her- tell- he wouldn't want her doing it? Maybe? You still won't hand it over. Creston, can you take a soul drags from other cursed barrels and add them to your own? Who knows? But you have to admit, it's worth trying. So basically, you want so drags, but you steal the ones other have gathered because you don't want to get your hands dirty. <gasps> oh, oh, so she kills still, yeah. <laughs> She's the kill still type, yeah. I see. She feel uh, her portion, yeah. <laughs> kill still, re. You are half right, but half wrong too. I don't mind getting my hands dirty. I just want to end this with a little trouble as possible. Yeah, so she won't kill you, she's buffing. Oh, really? Would kick her? <laughs> kick her out of the team, guys, yeah. Report for ban, yeah. Ban her. Understand? Oh, oh calm down, down, guys. <gasps> Such a shame. What? This is the end for you. Woo! Farewell. We die. Fire is so hot, it burns! Of course, that's what it was. That guy that made... <gasps> oh, he must have been following me! But it's already too late. The hee hee guy, guys! <laughs> Michael Jackson! <laughs> ah, he dead. Yeah, it's okay, guys. We die. The first time, uh, it's kind of dumb as well, yeah. My, my, Jun, uh, you seem to have arrived at a less than favorable result. It's not all in vain, however, as you have finally finally realized how the curse is activated. Fear not. Where is the, where is the curse? Oh. The guy asked me about the secret, guys. Yeah, the, the, the torch. So, maybe it's the torch. We have to throw it away, guys. Yeah. The fire? You may make as many attempts as you please from the conversation with the lady. Wait, what? But bear in no mind. Shogo Okie has no way of realizing it himself. So you must react for him. Okay. Right here we go again. Oh, throw it away! Huh? Throw away the lighter? Why did I suddenly have the glimpse, have the impulse to do that? Wait, I'm the ghost, guys. We are actually the ghost, yeah. Yes, really, throw it away, yeah. Not sure why, but here goes nothing. Hmm? What do you just? <laughs> Fuck you, woman. Why? Why throw your letter away all of a sudden? Ah. Because I'm the ghost, yeah, telling him to do that? Huh? Oh, well, I just kind of feel like it, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, why is that first? Oh, how? Why is, he why is she losing it all of a sudden? Could that letter have been what fulfilled the condition of a curse? But why? How did I? <laughs> she never! 
It can't be. Ah, oh, my Shuichi. I see. All right. Thumbs up. Yeah. GG well played. Yeah. <laughs> no new room. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Let's go. What the hell? Real Goku Bridge. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, yeah, quick question for you, yeah, okay. Uh, alright. What the? Sorry, this is so sudden, but I have go to ask. You don't mind, do you? Are you a cross bear? Oh, what the hell? This guy is direct! What? Oh. Ugh. Pass of leg, yeah. Ninety-two! Ninety-two percent! What the fuck? It's almost full! Whoever made this game is psychopath. Let's go, guys, yeah. <laughs> You're almost there, yeah. Is this his cross echo? Making it so obvious that he's a cross bearer himself. What is he trying to pull? Maybe he's confident that he can activate his curse before I activate mine. Gotta be careful. How should I ex uh, respond here? What's that? The hell is that? You took long to answer. Huh? Plus you glance behind me while the curse echo appear. What the hell? <laughs> Dude is so bad at lying. What the shit? Anyways, you are a curse bearer too. You can stop trying to hide now. Now I uh, know that you were doing a very good job. Shogo is so bad, yeah. Yeah, you are right. I appreciate the honesty. I just want to have a nice calm little chat. The name is Yutaro Namigaki. My cross echo is the food washing mansion. Why is it what is why is he trying to say what He didn't hide the fact that he was a cross bearer, yeah, what the hell? A chat? I'm not going to curse the first uh, wait, what? I'm not going to curse first and ask questions later. Just because we are both cross bearers, I've got a little more class than that. I hope you are smart enough to extend me the smart the same courtesy. Dot dot dot. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything guys. Maybe it makes it easier for him to cross you. I think he's uh, maybe it's trying to make me say something guys, you know what I mean? He keeps saying non stop stop, yeah. Maybe if I say alright, yes, okay, he's gonna curse me, yeah. You're not thinking about whether you can set it off your curse before I can activate mine now, are you? I see, that's too bad. If you don't feel like talking, then you leave me no choice. <laughs> really? I just died! <laughs> I even give you a chance to come up there, so like, real shit. Oh wait, I just died, really? What are you? <laughs> what are the Among seven mystery resentful memory of food washing is particularly strong. You can't block it out by plugging your ears. I just died, yeah. <laughs> I just died for not saying alright, really? This game, no way, yeah, no way. <laughs> My junior, <laughs> I'm here again, yeah? You have a way to evade curse that no one else is capable of, do you not? Do you not? Try again, okay. Remember to ward off the curse before it is activated. Bear in mind, show me, okay. Oh. Safe. Neighbor his toes? Maybe, guys, yeah. Neighbor, neighbor? Neighbor, neighbor, yeah. <clears throat> Alright. I think I have to respond to him, yeah. Maybe I have to talk non stop, is that it? Alright. Fine, chat away. Thank you. Good to know I'm dealing with someone reasonable. We have to figure out the pattern.
Right, it's just uh, extra stuff, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, let's talk. What do you want? Right, I will cut straight to the chase. Will you join forces with me? Join forces together, so drags? Yep, you're using a curse because there's someone you want to resurrect to, right? In that case, it'd be more effective for the two of us to work together than to do it all yourself. Think about it, we could split the work and we did have two kinds of curses at our disposal. Working together. I hadn't thought about that before. Can the soul drags in one curse stone be moved with another? That's fundamental requirement for this to work. Well, we have to test it and I can't do that alone either. I see. Uh, it's kind of reasonable but you know. Should we just listen to him? I have no fucking idea. I feel like if we if we don't, you know, like listen to him, right? He's gonna kill us. All right then. If he's working together, help us both to get what we want. Maybe it's not a bad idea, yeah. Uh, thanks. Glad to dealing with someone who can think things true, uh, true rationally. But there's something I need to know in advance. Tell me, how many soul drags do we have right now? Right, I have some, of course. I'm more than competent enough to all. I'm asking you how many. <laughs> I'm at 96, guys. Yeah, this guy is 1%. So he's gonna steal yours. Yeah, he's at 1%. He's a newbie. Bro, you got nothing to put on the table. <laughs> I'm 96%, dude. I bet you haven't managed to get on your own, have you? I'm at 92, yeah, sorry, 96, 92, yeah. Huh? Say what? The amount of soul drags I have in my curse stone right now. What? But are you serious? You're not even close to being on my level. I will keep gathering uh, soul drags on my own. Let's forget about joining forces business. You've got to be kidding me. Hmm. Okay, I call your bluff. Don't you think you can scare me off easily? I see, that's too bad. If you don't feel like talking, then you leave me no choice. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> I die again. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, what the hell? Time to try and run. I can't run, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I just die again. Yeah, what the hell? All right. Hmm. I can't punch the child, yeah. <gasps> what the fuck? When did she? When? When, guys? When? Huh? What the hell did you? Oh, don't mind me. You Taro said he wants to talk. You better answer quickly before you are. Uh, you know what? When? What? When? Yeah. What? Hello there, young lady. Oh, don't mind me. What the fuck? Maybe she's the condition, guys, yeah. Huh. Well, oh, there's a woman behind him. What does she have to do with this? Are the two of them gathering soul drags together? Alright. Right, let's talk. What do you want? Right, we, we choose the different answer, yeah. Sorry, but there's no way I can accept your offer until I know that. Who's to say you won't run away while we are in the middle of testing it? Well, you are just going to have to trust me. Or do you think you can collect them all yourself? I'm at 92%. Huh? Say what? The amount of soul drags I have in my stone right now. 
Alright, it's the same thing. Wait, what the hell? I think I'm... Uh oh, this one is tricky. Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't think I can do any stuff here. Yeah. And I can't go to the map either, so... Oh, uh, demo. Allow me to expound this further. You, you have been here several times. <laughs> you have been here several times. Yeah, the game is giving me tips. If not, if I'm not mistaken, you have already learned how to avoid hearing the voice of the curse echo somewhere. Fear not. Uh, the voice. The voice item. The walls? How do I block? A young man, probably younger than me, maybe a college student. Maybe you need to see the woman earlier. Uh, but uh, after we talk to him, it's lock. Surrounding. We learn to block, really? Maybe that's action time. I have no idea how. When he's uh, cursing me. Oh my god. You can't block it by plugging your ears. Kinda hard, yeah. I have no idea, yeah. Again, about his soul calm, yeah. That's too bad again, yeah. I can't, yeah. How am I gonna? <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't have items either. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I need guide now, yeah. <laughs> it's been like four times, yeah. Uh, Alright, here we go, yeah. Uh, how to avoid <laughs> hearing 
the voice. Yeah. Uh, paranormal site. Oh, what? You can prevent this? Oh, yeah. I forgot. With the games tell me how to play. All right, guys. It's the volume, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Voices you don't want to be heard. I forgot this. What the hell? Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this one, guys. Yeah. Alright, here we go. That's smart. Yeah, it's the voice. Yeah, option. There's, because they, they don't have like voice actor. Voice volume. Yeah, here we go. Ah, I see. Damn the game. What the hell this is uh, this is out of my brain. Yeah, what the shit? I didn't. Alright, here we go. Let's try, yeah, let's see. Right, let's see guys, yeah. Let me give you a chance, alright? What are you? Damn it. Hmm? A voice. I don't hear any voice. Well, let's go. <laughs> what the hell is the game volume? What? There's no way. And yet there he is, perfectly unharmed. Huh? What's going on here? I don't completely understand it myself, but this curse condition doesn't seem to have been met. Let's go. What the hell? Yeah, shit. Voice volume, yeah, this one. This is my chance. Yutaro, your curse won't work on me. I'll let you off easy today, so get the hell out of here, yeah. You son of a. Hmm, fine, I'll just be on my own then, yeah. Uh, fuck you, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, the girl left him, guys. The, look at, look at behind. The girl left the guy, yeah. <laughs> What the shit? Girl! <laughs> yeah, he died. <laughs> oh. Actual Lightning McQueen, yeah. She, she fucking just bought out of the scene, yeah. Thank god, and now I've gotten the last of the soul drags I need. <gasps> Was that a coincidence? He wasn't able to activate his curse for some reason, yeah. Things are going well. Luck must have been on my side. Oh, I should check my curse stone. It should have gained a lot just now. What the? Ugh. She now no right. Yes. Yeah, what the? Wait, what? Our condition is people, uh, like walking behind us, guys. I think. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. What? Where well, he's been used to? Maybe, yeah. Pardon the interruption, but I'd like to take this chance to tell you about the story chart, okay? We we done the yeah, we done the percentage of the soul, yeah. Alright guys, now give me two minutes. Uh bathroom break, we done kill everyone, we feel one hundred percent. Uh I'm gonna have a quick bathroom break, yeah, so about that eh? <laughs>
All right, I'm back. Thanks for waiting. Oh shit! Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for waiting, guys. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, guys, I think maybe he's like the first part of the story. Yeah. Maybe maybe we're gonna play like another character. Maybe it's just like Karika said. Yeah. There's multiple protagonists. Yeah. Maybe we're gonna play a new character. They're gonna investigate this. Yeah. Because uh, because uh, because he died, no. Shogo died on the news. Yeah. Maybe like this is what happened. Yeah, before he died. Whoa, timeline. This is a screen which will appear when you open story chart. From here, not only can you see the overall structure of the current story, you can also progress along different branching routes by. Playing past story over again. No thanks. <laughs> the, the jump scare. Uh, we could call this exactly the power that Shogo Oki had sought after. Normally, you would have been able to use the story chart feature freely. However, due to certain circumstances, it has been locked until now. From here on, you will ret return to the story chart from time to time to add breaks in the story. At those times, you will choose for yourself which story you wish to continue next. So, like pacifist run? Is that it? Here we go, yeah, for example, you can set voice volume to zero if you prefer not to hear voices. Damn, it's been here. Complete chapters uh, be resumed. There are two faces. There are two faces that must be completely to fully complete a chapter. If a chapter is finished, well, there are still tasks to be done. The chapter will not dim and will remain lit up. So a different outcome. By the way, should you just wait, what, should you use the story chart to replay a past event? Do you know what you must do and where? Of course you do. After all, you have gotten this far. What trigger did Yoko Fukunaga set off that led her dying the way she did? Wait, we can just save Yoko? They have come this far several times, so I. Have confused the wait. So we can directly stop Yoko dying. What did she trigger? Yeah. Uh. So I've. Oh yeah, she hear voices. Oh. She did say she hear voices, but we sh we hear nothing. Maybe if we turn down the volume, she won't die. Yeah, we already done that. So probably. As long as you make sure not to do that thing. Do what? However. Wait, what are you say? Not to do that thing, what thing, yeah. However, like with the lighters and voice earlier, Shogo Okiya has no way of knowing that himself. Oh, and that no on that note, I'm curious. How... Have you determined how many people Shogo Okiya has killed with his curse? Wait, what? Have you determined how many? Like, do, do I know the answer or what? Yeah. He killed one. One, okay. The NPC guy. The dark room guy. The high school girl. The woman by the lake. And... Uh, the last guy, the college, the college guy. So it's like five people, yeah. He killed five people. He <laughs> he. I see. I see. So that's your understanding of things. He did kill five people. Yeah. As it turns out, the correct answer is two. Two. Well, yeah, that's it. That is all. What? Two? Wait, what? Uh. He killed the NPC guy. High school girl doesn't 
doesn't count is that it two why two yeah two because of auto kills maybe you press two <gasps> oh <laughs> did i press two guys yeah i pressed on the college guy yeah Oh yeah, I've been mean, wait. Ah, yeah. I killed during the the cl uh, the dark room, and I killed during the college guy. No, I pressed three times, guys. Yeah. <gasps> oh, okay, guys. I pressed three times. Yeah. Oh, that's why, yeah. Okay, five people die. I pressed three times. The dark room, the lady by the lake, and at the end, yeah, the college guy. So, the NPC guy I didn't press, the high school guy I didn't press, yeah, that's why. Damn, the fourth wall. Oh. Because I chose to kill three times, yeah. So, by himself, right? Do you get, do you get what I'm saying, guys? Yeah, it's the fourth wall breaking, yeah. I choose to press three times on the corner. That's why. That's why. What's his name again? I keep forgot his name. Yeah. Shogo. Yeah. He killed two times. Yeah. The rest of them is me. Yeah. Ah, the game. Yeah. The game is like calling me hypocrite. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe the game is saying that to me. Yeah. You hypocrite. <laughs> you are the one that killed, not him. Yeah. He didn't kill five times, you killed three times, something like that. So we can save her, really? We wait for we actually didn't click anything at first. Maybe different. I think it's it's gonna be the same, yeah. Because they have to finish one timeline first, then we can do other stuff, yeah. So maybe it's just the the answer would be different, yeah. The end, uh, the narrator, yeah. Let's see if we can save her this time. This is the scariest part. What the hell? I, I don't like this, yeah. I don't like this part at all. She hears something, right? I turn down the volume, yeah. Maybe. I mean, just now, it sounds like you were saying only people with spirit can hear you. Oh, that again, guys. Look at the guy at the back. Yeah, we know. We now know, yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, this is the scariest part, yeah. I still don't like the 360, yeah. Right, we have read this already, so... I'm gonna... So I have to... What trigger her to die? Yeah. Is it the voice really? Skip? How do I skip? Yeah. Or I can't skip. Oh, I can. All right. Uh, right click. Okay.
So you're going to say about her dog. Oh my god. Right. She, oh, I just realized they talk a lot, yeah. Wait, still trigger? Keep yelling her name, huh? Yo, oh wait, it's different now. Keep yelling her name, yeah. What? Is calling her name really going to help? I'm you. Damn, the game is trippy. What the hell? <laughs> this is different. I'm already yelling as hard as I can. Shouldn't I look for what's causing this? There's nothing there. Yeah. Don't turn your back. Yeah. Yoko, hang in there. Yoko, look at me. You're going to be okay. It's alright. There's nothing there. Yoko. Wait, what? Oh, it's different. Will, will his please get through her? Yeah. We should survive, yeah. Eh? Hmm. If she's alive, then we don't have to kill, no? Huh? Oh, good. You're awake. What? what? I am. Um are you okay? You were so rattled and confused. I thought you did really lost it. Do you feel dizzy? Have a headache? Are your humors off? <laughs> are your humors off balance? Wait, what do you say? I think I've heard that before. You're the one saved earlier. Yeah. Oh right. Never have been it. My humors were off balance. What the back there? You ended up like that because of your humors? Yeah, I heard that. At this age, your humorous uh, being even a bit off can be fatal. I'm glad you are back to normal now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause you so much trouble. But re I really don't remember what happened. Hmm, sounds like what happened to me. Maybe this place uh, uh, is dangerous somehow. What? You are, p are you backing out? Yeah, it just doesn't feel safe to me and I'm worried about you. Let's call off today's investigation. Come on, I just started feeling back to normal too. Nope, no, uh, not happening. Go home, I will even pay your cab fare, alright? Wait. I end up having to force the still protesting Yoko into a taxi. Even then, she still wouldn't stop complaining. So to play... Placate her. I promise I did search the park on my own for a little while longer. On my own? Wait, is day like? 5 am. <laughs> it's dawn time, yeah. In further news. Oh wait, he's still dead. What the hell? <laughs> Before dawn today, a police officer <laughs> on a petrol discovered a man collapsed on S in Sumida Park. Did he die? What? <laughs> Investigation are still underway, but the police suspect connection to the other unexplained dead found in the area at the same time. Oh shit! Oh. Frog lock? The seven mysteries of Honjo. <gasps> we save her, but the man guy died. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. I'm not gonna lie, but damn. Okay. I think if you are the player, you will get 
the feeling more like you more realistically <laughs> The, the music's creepy but nice. Maybe other people are there. Mm, maybe yeah. The game's just time skipped. I can't even like help him. Yeah. Well done in your efforts thus far. This brings Shogo. Well, this brings Shogo Okia's story to a close. Ah, but this is not the end. Far from it. In fact, this is where the story finally begins. The rocks of the three protagonists. Three? The rocks of the three protagonists have now been unlocked. Harue Shigima, a woman who lost her son when he was kidnapped and murdered. What the hell? Tetsuo Tsu. Oh, he's the curse bearer? The chief of inspector of the first investigation division. Who is looking into death of an officer in the line of duty? Or oh, maybe he's not the cursed barrel, yeah, but damn. Yako oh yeah, he's he's ah oh, he's the Oh he's the one, I see. Okay. Yako Sakazaki. A high school girl who wants to bring her friend back from the dead. A girl who died in a suspicious suicide. Three of them. Each of them is burdened with circumstances that leave them no choice but seek the right of resurrection. Follow, uh, following these three storylines will reveal the full nature of all that is occurring. With that, please enjoy the continua continuation of this tale. <laughs> Damn, alright. The one we kill, guys. <laughs> Alright, let's see. When the son of Harue Shigima was kidnapped, a botched investigation by the police resulted in the child's murder. One year later, Harue has hired a private investigator to help resolve the unsettled case. Late night, while speaking to the detective at her home, something strange suddenly appears. Oh man! We have to trigger the fucking ghost? And then do it all again. I'm so bad with the girls. Please stop. I thought you say nay. Yeah, nay those fools. <laughs> oh wait, what? Kill them. Oh, it's the ghost. The flame bearers. Kill them all. You can use it to kill those with fire or. Here we go, yeah. You can use it to kill those with fire or fire starting device on their person. Press the use curse button to set your target alight. Now. Oh, it's the same thing, yeah. Can you hear it? It crossed the barrel. Yeah. So in the end, did Shogo resurrect Yoko? I... Maybe? Yeah, like, maybe that's the timeline. If he, like, call her out, you know, call her name out, she's gonna snap out of it, but then he will die, yeah. Maybe that's... Maybe that's all, yeah. Back with me, ma'am. Hmm? Can I say I understand what just happened? But it certainly seems to have put you in a good mood. This might be the first time I have ever seen you really smile. Oh shit. Sweet dreams? Housewife, okay. 11 years old son, uh, Shuichi was kidnapped for shit. Oof. No. Not dreams. Sounds like something I might want to hear about. Okay. Right. What the? Well, I'll be damned. Is that what I think it is? Goodness, you made me jump. 
It's just a silly sticker my son uh, got from somewhere or other, alright? Head of hand troll from way back, set of one. Real collector item, alright. Excuse me? Alright, it's a sticker collection, alright. <laughs> Is that a collect collectible? Yeah. <gasps> cool. Damn, stereo! What the hell? This thing is so uh, expensive, you know? Yeah, speakers designed for home use. Shush! My husband insists of uh, buying one. Shit! All right, rich. If bad, why beautiful? I mean, I have no idea. <laughs> still, they're still, they're still bad, guys. Come on, an old hanging scroll. All right, let me think. My heart is still racing. This is it, my chance at long last. A private investigator I hired. A friend told me about him. They say he's not well, very well known, but he's good at what he does. When I first visited his office in Ota City and saw how he dressed. I could hardly believe he was a detective. But why when she killed, he was behind her? You know what I mean, guys? She laid out fire on us, right? And then this guy was behind her. But after talking for, uh, to him for a while, I changed my mind. He says some strange things at times, but he seems like the reliable sort. Alright. Is he using you? Uh, talk. Let me bring you up to speed. We are in the middle of a chat when you suddenly started uh, spacing out. At the whole time, you were grinning to yourself like you just won a lottery. Can you tell me what that was all about? Well, where to start? Hmm, interesting, very interesting. So, the haunting clapper's curse echo appeared out of nowhere. Tell you how to perform the rite of resurrection and give you the curse, you will need to do it. Have I got that right? That's right. So it's all real. Honestly, I still find it hard to believe. But I guess I have to d uh but I guess I have to now. I saw that curse stone appear in your hand myself. Oh okay. It looks like it popped clean out of a thin air. With evidence that clear, there's no denying there's some supernatural force at work. Hmm. I don't think you quite understand. Oh. This isn't about evidence and it isn't about belief. It's more than that. I know it's real. The moment the curse appeared, I knew everything before it even said a word. It's already there in my head, as clear as day. You just knew, huh? It was at the uh, edge in onto my soul, along with the curse that caused resentful memories. So I can feel it, what it was like. Oh my god! It fills me with blood loss. Damn, okay. Chill. I think I need to kill someone. <laughs> I think I need to kill. Anyone will do it just as long as they are carrying fire. Yeah, that's the condition. Yeah, I see. That could be a problem. You think so? From what I know of you, I was sure you'd see it as an opportunity. The stronger the desire to resurrect someone, the stronger the urge to kill. That's how it seems to me anyway. Good grief, talk about spanner in the works. I'm uh, gonna listen, alright, yeah, listen to me kill people, Katika, yeah, good luck with work. <laughs> I say we take stack, we take stock for a moment, uh, remind ourselves where we have come from and where we are going. Alright, let's go. So this woman is rich, right? I see. From a rich household. Mm. 
Damn. Father, all right. About the investigation, that's what you hired me for, ma'am, to look into your son's kidnapping last year. To uncover the truth behind abduction and murder of Suichi Shimigima. Yes, sir, I remember. They never did find the one who did it. That's what I'm here about today. In fact, kind of you to let me drop by so late, by the way. I've been turning over every last stone and I've come up with a grand total of one lead. So you say it. As far as, well, uh, as the police are concerned, it's a cold case, but I managed to make some headway. I remember, you were just about to tell me. Okay. Oh! His body was discovered floating in the Sumida River. Damn! Born in the early 70s, okay. Oh, he don't have to. Okay, he's not a curse bearer, yeah. Holy shit. About the investigation. You know, we still need to figure out it. Uh, exactly what you want me to do tell you what why don't i tell you what i have found and then we can make a decision all right all right a chill. all right uh about the kidnapping i suppose there's not much point going over the kidnapping itself no i'm very familiar now uh, i will leave that for the files to cover and just Confirm a few things about the case. The police trace the culprit's call back to let's see here. Northern Oyoko River, here in the Sumida city, that's quite a wide area. That's right. In the end, they never managed to nail down exactly where the calls were coming from. But it was almost certainly the same location that Shuichi was being held captive. Since Shuichi's voice could be heard during the killer's call. Northern or Yoko River is quite distant from Shuichi's normal school commute. Factoring in that he was seen at school but he went missing before he arrived at his house. Yeah. It's likely that he was abducted by car on his road bed uh home, yeah. So he was uh, get he get captured on the way he going back home, is that it? Maybe but Exactly. Shuichi was a clever boy. He would never have gotten into car with stranger. That's right. I was very fun about that. I knew he understood too. I even saw him warning the other children. It's possible that they forced him into the car. The only issue there is there weren't any witnesses to kidnapping. You can't bundle someone into a car with that many students around and not be noticed. But nobody came forward to say they saw anything suspicious. So maybe it's someone he know, no? The, the kids know, yeah. So did I target him at, the sa at some other time? Or somewhere away from his usual route? Both of them seem a little far-fetched. Which raises the question, how did the kidnapper pull it off? The police never managed to find the answer. In the end, they decided that the kidnapper might, uh, must have just gotten lucky. Well, why not turn the problem on its head? The kidnapper managed to get Shuichi get into the car. But how? The only thing that makes sense to me. Yeah! It's... If there was somebody that he would have a reason to trust, yeah, that he know, yeah, he knows the driver, a teacher, perhaps a relative or somebody else he knew. But all of the adults Shuichi knew 
had alibis. The police checked them all thoroughly. That it, huh? No one throws a number at the problem like a like the cops. But what if it wasn't someone he knew or rather? What if the culprit disguised himself as a police officer? They will explain why he didn't find them suspicious. The Shigima family has co close ties with the police after all. He would have a reason to trust them. You might be right. But surely they couldn't have. That is the problem with that theory. You'd be surprised how much uh, police officers stand out. That's sort of point of the law. They are meant to be visible deterrent against crime. Alright, then what? But here's another interesting little bit of triva trivia I happen to know. When you ask people to imagine someone suspicious, nobody picture a woman or children. Even kids who have warned about stranger danger often subconsciously expect that danger to look like a, look like an adult man. Besides, Shuichi was the sort of boy who wanted to become a police officer when he grew up. He must have a very strong sense of right and wrong. Okay, that's right. Surely you wouldn't mean. Now you are getting it. If you say. A young woman approached Shuichi asking for help. What would he have done? If someone like that said they have lo they were lost and asked him for direction. Wait. Maybe the high Maybe the high school student? The girl? The ponytail girl? Would he have gotten into a car? I mean or oh. The police officer? Oh, I have no idea, yeah. He might have. My husband always told him that a man had a duty to watch out for women and children. You could certainly uh, argue that kind of attitude is outdated nowadays. But if Shu Shi believed it, then we might have something here. Then you think the culprit was a young woman. But it was a man's voice on the phone. She might have been a, a complice, or maybe she didn't even realize she was being used. Alright, it's just his uh, speculation on the case, yeah. Right of resurrection, alright. I'm gonna skip through it because we already said, uh, we already talked about that with your call for like, you know, the prologue, so. What if I hadn't sent him to the school ever since, you know, uh, the death of her son? What if I just paid the ransom? Not a day goes by when I don't think that I did done something differently. Shrichi would have still be alive. You can't blame yourself, ma'am. It was the culprit's uh, fault, not yours. But I know that wouldn't help any. Grief is funny like that. I'm guessing that's why you're after the right. What? Oh. Yes, I didn't need to ask. It's written all over your face. I can tell how much she meant to you. But, and this is a big but. If this right is a real deal, using it will mean killing someone and stealing their soul. Is that a problem? comes to that, I'm afraid I have to stop you. Oh, that's a shame. A shame, huh? That's all? I, th uh, I thought if I'm going to be competing with other curse bearers, then your detective skills might come in useful. You realize you're talking about ending someone's life, right? Don't you see an issue with that? I think any parents in my position would happily kill for a chance like this. Is that so, dear? Oh, dear. What have I gotten myself into? A small? Okay, so the question is uh, this, uh, Did anybody... Oh yeah, I'm just gonna jump around the dialogue <laughs> To see which one is interesting yeah? Did anybody see Shuichi speaking with a young woman on the day of his disappearance? See uh, What I say about the purpose of the biases Let's go for witnesses too And I figure out that maybe if I start out Asking new question, I might get some new answers. Right, yeah. 
So I spent my days asking around sushi school route, see if anybody has seen something. And one man thought he had. Do you mean he saw it happen? Well, I can't say for sure yet. I turned out it turned out he wanted something from me, so I asked if we could talk in private. Several hours. Okay, all right. The timeline. Okay, all right. This should do. Excuse me. What's what? What was your name again? Dollar Jonochi. <laughs> all right. Uh, just so we are on the same page. You are a private detective investigating Shuichi Shigima's kidnapping. Do I have that right? Of course, yeah. How should I know what a private detective look like? Oh, forget it. Yeah. I will try you. S I will tell you straight. My life is in danger. I need your help. You will excuse me if that caught me a little off guard. Let me ask you straight. Who is trying to kill you? A student, uh, a student called Michio Shiraishi. Michio. No, there's no one here, no? Wait, where's the high school student? Oh, we don't have her name. We just kill her, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Shogun just kill her directly without knowing her name. The high school student, yeah. Maybe it's her. Interesting. A, uh, a school girl, eh? Sounds like you have been naughty. <laughs> it's nothing like that. That girl, she's a murderer. Maybe he made her up to nail him in. Maybe. It, everyone is so sus in this game, yeah. I'm the only one who knows. But I saw what she did. What she did. Huh? Michio Shiraishi. I saw her kidnap Shuichi Shigima. Come again? Yeah, it's her. Yeah, it's the high school girl with the curse barrel. Yeah. Maybe? I saw her talk to him on the street and lead him away. I didn't think much of it at the time. But then he went missing. She murdered him. I'm sure of it. Or at least she got something to do with it. It's what you are here for, isn't it? Then why can't you let her get me? Uh, th yeah, then you can't let her get me. If that's true, you have been sitting on some valuable information. Why didn't you tell anybody? Well, you see? If you can't explain that, I don't have any reason to believe you. Yeah, I couldn't. She told me she'd kill me if I spoke a word. What? You're telling me a schoolgirl had you scared for your life? So you've been sitting on that all this time and you think she's coming for you now that you have spilled the beans? Yes, that's it. Exactly. I'm begging you, don't let her get me. Arrest her, I'm telling you. She's a demon. <laughs> well, you seem to believe what you are saying, but it just doesn't add up. How could a schoolgirl have fooling grown men so terrifying? Yeah. You don't know what she can do. She will, she will curse me. Curse you? I'm sorry, but you are losing me here. It's true, her house is... Oh, forget it. Her house? Why do I even bother? You seem dubious enough to believe me, but I should have known. You never understand. Enough, I will find someone else to help me. I mean, would you... Would you believe when someone be like, yeah, she will curse me? I would not believe, yeah, but, you know. At the time, I thought his mention of curses was just a crazy talk, yeah. But I'm starting to see that there might be, uh, have more to it than if we can just find that girl. Curse or no curse, if she was with Shuichi on the day of uh, kidnapping, then there's a good chance she knows something. On top of that, I did some digging on the man I spoke to. His full name is Kohei Junochi. He's a teacher at Komagata High School here in Sumida. A teacher, alright. She's one of the students. I think that's very likely, yeah. 
Mm. Alright, we gotta uh, we gotta talk everything first. I don't need you to kill other cursed bear. I only need you to find them. I won't be party to murder, ma'am. Not even for a client. It's a shame. I see. I didn't realize you were so stubborn. I mean, he's a detective. Why would he kill? Come on. Let me say it out. It's not like I don't get what you are going through. As long as you are not killing anyone with your own hands, maybe I can help you out. What? Oh! This guy is the same, yeah? What do you have in mind? Well, how about stealing someone else's cursed stone after they have filled with soul drags? Ah, th that's how she get an the idea from kill steal. If that's uh, if that was all you are after, then I could lend you my services guilt free. If the other cursed bearers want to kill each other, there's their been a uh, business. I'm not trying to be a hero here. I guess there's no guarantee stolen cursed stone will work, but we can worry about that later. Well then, I suppose we have a deal. Otto, what if I stole a cursed stone using my curse? Would you disapprove? That would void our contract, ma'am. Just warning you now. Alright. Okay, no thing again. So yeah, right, I keep pressing that about my curse. Before we go any further, why don't you tell me about your that curse of yours? Alright. The curses make their bearers more willing to kill. Oh. So an attack could come from anywhere. That sounds sensible. Alright. If I remember correctly, your haunting clappers can set people on fire. But only if they have a naked flame or lighter on their own on their person, is that right? That's right. In other times, wooden clappers were used to warn people of fire. I'm guessing it punishes who don't hit the warning. It seems like a good curse to have. It's simple and straightforward enough to to use. Yeah. All right. That's why he asked us. Yeah, if we have anything to lead up. Yeah, on our on our body. Yeah, I mean, like if I, we. We bring anything, yeah. If only you could use the curse, then back out at the last second. At the last second? What an interesting idea. I have a lighter right here. We could try it now. This is an interesting proposition. But maybe not. I'm not crazy enough to make myself a guinea pig, yeah. Alright. What about the last one? There's more, alright. Right, then, have you decided what you want me working on? Investigate. I, I, I wouldn't want her to kill. Investigate the kidnapping, yeah. Finally, I have a lead. I need to know what happened to my son, yeah. Your wish is my command. I will focus all my effort on looking into kidnapping, yeah. Although something just occurred to me. You can't investigate the matter at night, can you? At least until the sun rises, could you search for another cursed barrels? Right. Also oh, good that the other cursed barrels are also walking by night. Anyone that kill under the cover of darkness won't be discovered until sunrise. I bet they are trying to do as much as they can before the morning comes. So it's said then I will look into the other cursed bearers by night. And once the city wakes up, I can start asking questions. Okay, alright. Investigation on the kidnap and cursed bearers too, yeah. There's no telling what kinds of curse you might find out on the streets tonight. Don't go outside if you can. 
Uh, try to be ready for anything. All right. Let's see, yeah. One AM. Oh shit. I'm just gonna play a bit more, I guess. Yeah. Because it's fucking scary. <laughs> It's about uh, almost an hour since Richard left. He promised he'd call me if anything happened. But he hasn't. So all uh, I can do is wait and wait. Really? No way. I know it's dangerous to go out. But I can't just sit here and let this opportunity pass me by. I have to look for her. For Michio Shiraishi. Newspaper? Wait. Only leave them in here for the gas. I hardly ever read them myself. I don't think I've taken the time to go over one uh, in years. One, in fact, alright. What the hell? Education? Culture? Yeah. Let's see if there's high school girl, yeah. I don't want to read anymore. What the fuck do you mean? Alright, culture. I'm not gonna read all this, yeah. This. <laughs> I'm gonna skim through it, yeah. Talk about cars? What the hell is game? What the hell? Polluted? Pollution? <laughs> Do you understand about Japan being polluted? Yeah, the water? I have no idea. Damn, what the hell? Alright, there's so much attacks. I guess it is visual novel, yeah. Watch out. Nuclear waste dumping? Is that it guys? Yeah, about the, the, the water? For fish? Yeah, it's like people are scared of eating salmon now, no? <laughs> what? Is this salmon? Fukushima nuclear plant, yeah, is that it? Reduce eating it, yeah? Summer is expensive, guys, yeah. <laughs> Summer is fucking expensive. I can't remember when the last time I eat one, yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. What? But. No, that can't be right. The name. <gasps> yeah, fuck. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, yeah, finally, yeah. Here we go. Uh, society articles. Suicide at local high school. Damn. Oh, I remember that. A high school girl jumped off a roof about one week ago. Woo! She was bullied, I think. Maybe it was something about exam pressure. What? No, it can't be right. Her name. Michio Shiraishi. Here we go. She's suicide, I see. Can't be. Michio Shiraishi. The same girl who witnessed my son can have been committed suicide last week. What that means? Mr. Junichi was terrified of some someone who who already died. Oh yeah, what? Huh? What is this game? My brain, <laughs> the supernatural, yeah. Excessive salmon eating is still b uh, bad to begin with. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like this. You know, I guess mix the meat, guys. Yeah, it is what it is. Salmon, chicken. Pop, I guess. I have no idea. Yeah, maybe beef. Yeah. Nico, good morning. Thanks for joining. Welcome. Hey, you, you gotta you gotta watch. This one is scary. Yeah. I shit my pants. Yeah. Is that what he meant by cross? I can't book this out on my own. Maybe Richard would know. 
When, why won't he call? Oh, I haven't left it. Of oh, course, have I? So we're gonna call him? Okay, nice. That must be him. I'm distressed, but it's fine, baby. <laughs> It's scary. Scary! Meat price keep getting up. Yeah, it's time to just eat ramen. Oh, ramen is fucking expensive too. Uh, it's time to eat, uh, eat air, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Wait, she, t she talked to the phone for like one hour? We got, yeah, veggie is expensive too, guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's here. Richard, there's something I need to tell you. Funny, I was thinking the same thing. What? Alright, <laughs> let's talk. <laughs> Sumida River? Well, it looks like Han River. I have no idea. Yeah. Can I ask you something, ma'am? Is the Sumida River what you Honjo folks picture when you think of home? I couldn't say. Oh, I can tell you. Is that I can I can hardly stand the sight of it. Right, I should have guessed. This was where they found him after he went missing. Oof, all alone, floating on that horrible water. All I can think is how scared he must have been, how cold he must have been. Alright. I came here every day since then. What? That's not healthy, ma'am. No. And I pray to the river to give him back. Oof. To give back my son. Day after day. You know, in olden times, people believe river mark where our world meet the next. Meet the next? Super. Oh, yeah. Cross crossing the river? I see. And it's turned from farmland into town, people surround it with man-made rivers and criss-cross it with canals and waterways. Alright, uh, I have no idea why they're talking about the city law, yeah. Are you saying that Honjo is a place where real worlds meets the afterlife? Exactly. <laughs> what? This why right of resurrection is here ra uh, rather than anywhere else. I'm sure of it. Built for feng shui. <laughs> for afterlife, yeah. <laughs> People live here, die, yeah. <laughs> it's probably why the seven mysteries and their curses have survived to the modern days. I I don't you detective. Why are you talking about supernatural afterlife? Yeah, between life and death in this city. I need to tell you about the student, come on. Hmm. It's a, it's a nice thought, yeah. Right, you sure about that? Yeah, tell me about the girl that's suicide, come on. I'll go first. <laughs> me. It's something I need to tell you. What's up? Well, that girl, Michio Shiraishi. The one who was with Shiraishi on the day of kidnapping, yeah. Yo, he just suddenly told tell me about the fucking city law. Why? He he guy, yeah. <laughs> That's her, well. She's dead. She what? The student who committed suicide last week, it was, that was for her. I heard something like that happened, never got the name though. Talk about bad luck. We finally get a lead, only to find it's turn a literal dead end. Bad there, so I decided to take a break and watch Jane. Thank god I have an end stream, guys. Yeah, almost end, yeah. But I really want to know, like, what happened, yeah. <laughs> I, I just will, I, I will stream a bit, just a bit more, yeah. I'm not sure what I feel about this game, you know what I mean, guys, yeah. <laughs> in a way, it, it's interesting. But then in a way, it's like, it's scary. But then in a way, it's like, 
Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, oh, okay. Unless her dad was the one, was the whole reason John John Noichi was so shaken up. Hmm. He said he was going to cross him. Was he uh, was he talking about her or taking revenge beyond the grave? What did the fucking teacher did to the student? Yeah. Maybe it's the sucks one. You know what I mean? And she's suicide. What the hell? Maybe he did something to her, and then he's scared, and then for some reason the the student suicide. I have no idea. Yeah. Maybe it's fake. Let's go, guys. <laughs> it seems like we are back to where we start. Yeah. Not necessary that teacher knows something. I'm sure of it. At the very least, I did put my money on him having something to do with Miss Shiraishi dead. That's why I'm so scared of being crossed by her. I see. And also, something that tells me he knows ab more about your son's kidnapping. In any case, I think I've got a good idea where... What he's hiding? Call it a hunch. A hunch? Well, more like a theory. Care to guess? I can guess. I can't say for a certain, but... Mr. Jonoichi. Silence. With a murder. The teacher silenced the student? With murder? Blackmail, maybe, yeah. I think the teacher did something sus, yeah. Maybe with a murder or blackmail, yeah. Blackmail, right? Maybe blackmail and then she's suicide? What if Mr. Jonoichi silenced Michio Shiraishi with a blackmail? What do you think? Exactly my think. Oh really? Damn! Jonoichi knew about Miss Shiraishi connection to the kidnapping. And he used that to blackmail her into doing his bidding. He made her feel so trapped. She took her own life to escape. Yeah, you know, like she's suicide, right? There's a there's a reason to that, yeah. How despicable. Yeah, it's just a theory. Now right now, I think we need to have another chat with Mr. Jonoichi. Maybe we can kill him, yeah. <laughs> He's gazing down the water, what do you see? Yeah. What do you see? Oh that's right. There's one more memory I have of this river. Do you mind if I tell you? Go ahead. 20 years now when I was a schoolgirl. Back then, the Sumida River was so much filthier than it is now. It was filled with garbage, alright? You could look out of the water just see dead cats and dogs, pigeons just floating. What the fuck? One day, among all the filth and garbage, there was a piece of my missing classmate's hand. What? Girl, what the fuck, guys? Look at this, yeah. On the river, there was a piece of my missing classmate's hand. <laughs> she just dropped that, yeah. What? It was almost a recall when you stopped to think about it. What were the chance that someone would find a part of her th that was still recognizable? I think it's this, uh, it's this curse, yeah. She go. Seven mystery. Yeah, this one, yeah. Look at the guy. Uh, he chopped off the woman's hand. And legs, yeah, and throw it to the river because the girl reject him, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she rejected his advance, yeah, and so he killed her, yeah. <laughs> what the hell? All right, damn. 
Where is that curse? Yeah. Oh, uh, that could. Uh, that could tell it's been a murder from the blade marks to the bone. All right, on the bone. Wait, are you talking about the Nijima murders? So you have heard of it? I'm impressed. Assume you were, but a, but an elementary schooler at the time. I wasn't really aware of it then. I only hear. I, heard, I only heard about it after the fact. I had no idea the victim was a classmate of yours. Okay. They said the rest of the body must have sunk to the bottom of the river. They combed the river bed, but they only found if uh, they were found pieces. Everything else must have rotted and flowed out to the sea. Afterwards, I heard that all the divers who had been looking for her fell ill. What? A sorry story for everyone's in North, huh? Damn, right. Mm. Young people were moving to Tokyo in droves. Some even ran away from home to make it in a big city. And they made it easy target for bad pe people, I see. A lot of them ended up disappearing without a trace. Shush. You see, back then, if you chop a body up into tiny pieces and threw it in the water, it would rot quickly, discreetly, and sink to the bottom, never to be seen again. Are you saying what I think we are saying? They arrested him shortly after Fumi Chika Nejima, the man who killed my classmate and cut her into pieces. He was so meticulous about it, it couldn't have been his first crime. And people began to wonder how many girls he did murder the same way. What the fuck? And the police never found any evidence of other murders in the end. But the river knows, I see. What the fuck? So really, this river has been ranked with corruption for decades now. What is wrong with this city and river, yeah? <laughs> I was the one who found the hand. Damn, okay. He's like, what the fuck? The police actually wrote me a thank you letter. They say it was only thanks to me that they managed to bring Nejima to justice. That was the only time my father ever said he was proud of me. Huh. I guess it was just, it wasn't the killer's day. What the fuck? Sometimes I wonder if he resent me for it. What in the world? <laughs> this game is fucking weird, yeah. Let me see my back. <sighs> what if there's another lady standing there, yeah? Alright then. I've been poking around places connected the seven mystery looking for cursed barrels. And I think I found a few candidates. Tall man I ran into Kinshibori Park. I asked him for direction, trying to prop him into a litter, but he turned the question right back around me. Alright. That's the guy we first killed, yes. The middle-aged guy I saw on the south, very Gaswick street. Middle-aged guy? Oh! Maybe he's the dark room guy, yeah. He had a nervous net, uh, air about him too, it was clear he was up to some shady business. Next up is a pair, a young man and a woman I saw around Ryogoku Bridge. This time the man came up to me and asked me if I, if I was a curse bearer. Alright. They're working as a pair. But the girl just threw him under the bus, yeah. As soon as he died. Last two is detective I've seen sniffing around. The police are involved. Not necessary, a body turned up in a local park a few days ago, so they might just be looking into that. Alright. Any 
Anyway, that's everyone who have caught my eyes. You found all of them in so little time. I really did hire the best. It's all the name, ma'am, alright. <laughs> Richard. No, wait. Richard Kai, alright, sure. Why did she have so much chemistry with this guy instead of her husband, yeah? <laughs> the guy he, uh, she hired. Is that why you can dress like that without drawing attention to yourself? Alright, anyway, they are chatting. The middle-aged man and the young couple sound mo the most promising, am I right? Got the race, is that it? Whichever we pick, is still too early to make a move. It seems like the cursed barrels are less involved with each other than we thought. Plus, there's still others we don't know about. I say we hang fire and see how things play plays out. Hmm. Something wrong? Creaminess? Okay, so what there? They even give particular notor notorious criminals new identities so they won't be recognized in the workplace. So I don't know about uh, like criminals after they get like uh, released, right? They have a hard time to reintegrate into society. That's why they get a new name to start fresh really there's a system like that my the way you put it it's like you are saying Fumi Chika and Ejima could be out on the parlor right now been in the society under a new name with no nobody and any the war so it's possible as it happens a little birdie told me about a big name making a payroll a few months back. I don't know if that was Najima, but our discussion just now did bring it to mind. I see. How unsettling. Now that you mentioned it, I just remember something too. What was it? I was passing Kamo Gata High School a little while ago. I saw someone. A janitor, I think. And I could have sworn he reminded me of Fumi Chika Nejima. Oh. He looked a little different after 20 years. Much thinner than I remember too. I told myself I was just seeing things. But perhaps. It was him after. What the fuck? <laughs> so, what's next? Shogo? It's not Shogo. Is that Shogo? <laughs> I don't think it's Shogo, yeah. Alright. Suspend? You cannot currently progress any further. Once the situation has changed, select resume again. Oh, I can't do any shit now? That's the, that's the way it is, really? I think it's more like a storytelling uh, game, yeah. I mean, it's visual novel, yeah. But what the... Oh, her name is Yako Saza Sakazaki. It's not the... Uh, it's not the girl, alright. Alright guys, we'll stop here to, for the day. I'm not sure how I feel about the game. <laughs> I guess it's interesting, yeah. A scar I mean, uh, yeah. In it's interesting, but uh, yeah, the the first part is very scary. I got jump scare like three times, yeah. Other than that, it's it's kind of nice, I guess, yeah. It sure is a weird one, yeah. The the part I like the most is the voice part, yeah. 
right guys yeah the voice part yeah remember that one yeah that one is really tri tricky yeah <laughs> yeah it's interesting like you can change someone's fate maybe yeah probably yeah maybe we'll get to know about the student and the police officer then maybe we, we will know the big picture yeah Maybe like Dark Pictures production, like Man of Medan and Quarry. Oh yeah, I heard about the game, yeah. But I haven't played. And I don't really watch a any other people play. <laughs> so it's kind of curious, yeah. But yeah. Don't go Neko tomorrow, maybe we will play Genshin. Just chilling, yeah. This game, maybe I will continue on Thursday or Friday. Either one of them, yeah. But we'll see, yeah. It's more like a reading game. <laughs> Hi Mina, thank you so much for being scared with me. I'm sorry if I my scream scare you. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi Mina san, oh yes, Mina san, have a nice dream, have a sweet dream. Kiss you goodbye, kiss you goodnight, bye bye, bye 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 bye. Wink, wink. Oh come, who cares about university? Shush. Damn Neko. Don't skip schools, guy. What the hell? Guys, whatever you do, don't find the head girl, yeah. Uh, where, you know, the girl's gonna throw you under the bus after you get uh, killed, yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that, guys. Yeah, don't be a simp, yeah. Bye bye. Skip school, don't skip school, guys. Right? Yeah, bye. <laughs> she directly, directly throw the glasses guy under the bus after he die, yeah. Bye bye.